So Kathy is here. Tamara is here. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Welcome. I'm glad you're here with us. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Nice to see y'all. Well, it's warm. I opened the window, but I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's warmer outside than inside. I'm not sure. <laughs> We've had a nice sunny day. Whole, a whole weekend of sun. Well, that's good. great. Yeah. Let me see where we are temperature wise. Yeah, 61. It was a high of 64, I guess. So, oh, that's nice for you guys. Yeah, a nice time. Yeah, going out with just, you know, a light jacket kind of thing. Is it in the 90s still there, Kathy? <laughs> it is. Oh, it's 78. That's cool. Oh, that's comfy. Yesterday was, I think, was it yesterday? I don't remember. One day it got to 91. But 78 is not bad. It's going to get down to 53. They said the hi, high was 80. So, hi, Kat. How are you? Oh, Kathy says they got up to 80. Wow. Oh, no, you got hotter than us. Wow, wow. So funny because we went, I went to Phoenix and then we went and had lunch. We sat outside and we see these people on horses, these three ladies on, you know, these three horses. Well, like, this is weird that these, we see these horses out there. And they go to Starbucks and they were through this, they went through the Starbucks uh, drive through oh the horses. <laughs> it was so funny. Hi, Becky. Hi, Hi, big bro. Hi, Becky and big bro. How are you? But yeah, they were there at Starbucks. Wow. And it's horse riding weather. <laughs> well, it probably always is there, unless right. it's like scorching hot. Right. It, it was nice. It was really nice today. I'm so bummed. You know, John's going uh, early next month to help his daughter um, come back, you know, move home from school. Oh, she's moving back already? Yeah. You know, they're out in May, early May. So, That's right. That's right. hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. And, um, I was planning to go, but then he had, it had to be booked when my cat was sick and I thought I'd have to stay home and take care of her. And yeah. So oh, now it's like too late to go. It was too late to go. I guess. When, Hi, when Delbert. Hi Delbert. When is he coming? And it was going to be my first time to Arizona too. Um, I want to say it's like the 8th or something of May, sometime May, around then. July 20th. Yeah. I think also I, I, yeah, I ended up booking some other things in the meantime, thinking I was going to okay. still be in town, okay. like a dog sit. Yeah, like that. okay. That would have been nice. I do think I'm going to go to LA again, not that, you know, I've been many times. It's not like going to Arizona and that would be new yeah. and exciting but um gonna go six through eighth yeah right. oh okay oh thanks pam it's just oh, that i put lipstick yeah. on <laughs> well my lip gloss whatever you call it. Uh, that reminds me my mom used to always encourage me to put lipstick on because i was always so pale oh hi apple it helped me look less pale Hi, Apple. But I was always, I always think, even now I look at it and go, oh, that's too much. It's, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's too attention getting and I, my personality is kind of like <laughs> shy, you know, don't like that attention. But Hi, Angie. I know it can look good. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Angie. How are you? I see you're, with, you're going to be on Angie's, aren't you? I'm going to be on with Angie tomorrow. Yeah. I was just going to say that. that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah. be fun. That's always fun with Angie. Yeah. I called Monday my market to see if I was going to be babysit. I'm not even, you know, because I don't know when um, Derek's mom's going to come and get him. I have no idea. Hi, Roxana. Yeah. Hey, Midge. So hey, I Midge. Said, you know, to, uh, yeah, that's, that's tough, tough when you're just not, you're at the whim of their schedule. I know hard to plan anything i'm too old to be <laughs> i'm too old to be babysitting a little bit. i love him to death but i can handle probably like once or twice a week but every day it's like you know i just don't know I'm like you know i'm 65 i want to be i need to be free 
my gosh. Uh, it's for um, the majority of the day. Is that how long it yeah, is? Yeah, all day. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. So from like eight o'clock till, you know, between 5.30 and 6. And it's just, mm -hmm. and I can't, I can't, he's, he's, I mean, I could take him with me to the store, but he's too much. You know, it's, mm -hmm. if Jeannie could go with me, it'd be okay, but she's, she has a, the online school. So she mm -hmm. can, then she can help watch him. Right. But if you watch just a little one, you know, I know it's too hard. And he doesn't like you to hold his hand when he's in the store. You know, he thinks he's a big boy. Uh, he doesn't need his hand held, but then he'll, he'll take off. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's just, it's hard. Hi, Roxanna. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I say, Kathy, we need to put him in daycare. And my son doesn't really want to, but well, yeah, if you had to watch him all day, see, you drop him off while you go do your work. Maybe you just know. a couple days a week, know. you know, so That's it's not said. all I the could, time. I could handle him a couple days a week and put him in daycare a couple days a week. And it would right. be good for him, I think, too. Right. Yeah. Cheryl? Cheryl? But it's just too much. Um, yeah. Too much at my age. And I really up with Jeannie and Jeannie's and Jeannie was so it was so different with her because she was so much easier and she was so little and petite. I could take her with me. I could pick her up and put her in the basket. He I, he's 85 pounds. I cannot pick him up. <laughs> yeah. Of the store, he's like, can I sit in the basket? I said, I can't lift you. <laughs> yeah. In there, yeah. kiddo. So um yeah. like, sorry if I could make it easier for me too. Yeah, it would. Are you gonna watch on TV? Okay. Yeah. So wonder if there's any stores. Remember those those carts that used to be like a car in the front? Oh, yeah, they don't have those at ours. And they could they used to, that. but they don't have them anymore. But that would be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's what you did when your son was little, two days with my mom and three days. Yeah. Yeah. See, that would be perfect. I wouldn't mind that at all. But I don't know. We'll have to see what you know what the, what it was his mother's gonna do. I think she's supposed to be done with this job thing she had to, it was done this weekend and then we'll have to see if she's gonna get him but, um, and then she can put him on day she did have him in daycare for a little while where she lived so she'll have to do that again so. yeah we did um i was home with them most of the time but it was nice to have a break um a couple of days a week we did uh, a co-op preschool so one day a week I was there kind of volunteering, helping, and then the other days other parents were there volunteering and helping. Oh, okay. That's nice. Then we didn't have to be there. <laughs> yeah. You do need a break, even even from your own kids. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a break sometimes. For sure. Yeah. You yeah. had concerts, yeah. They used to have them. I haven't seen them in a long time. I don't know if they have them anymore. Yeah, because that he could climb into by himself. Yeah, as like I said, I cannot keep you know, him contained, and he could yeah, be driving. He was like a year old, I couldn't lift him. <laughs> he was like so big. Yeah. He was big, big kid. So. I was watching my friends. He's nine months now. Well, actually ten, but he was nine months when I watched him last. And I wanted to say he's like twenty-eight pounds or something like that, and that know. was a lot for me to lift. Because sure. <laughs> we, we had to go get him one time for something. He was, I don't think how old he was. He was I don't think he was walking yet. I don't know how old he was. He was under a year. Mm -hmm. I think he was over 50 pounds then, I think. I couldn't wow. lift him. I couldn't lift him. I would try yeah. to get him out of the car seat. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't. I had to get my husband to yeah. get him. It was, it was like just. Oh my God, it was just so heavy. His yeah. cheek was so little, you know, and it was so easy. Yeah, and he has to be picked up because he can't walk. Right, right. exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I couldn't, I just couldn't, you know, without killing myself, breaking my back. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So. Hey, Kathy. I mean, um, hi, sorry. Julie. Julie. <laughs> I read the word Kathy. Hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. We're talking about a child. Oh, a child. Yeah, a child. child. He's he, he'll be. I heard next week he'll be four. But we're saying he's eighty-five pounds. He's a big, big. He's big. He's gonna be. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be really tall and big, big kid. But um, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, I have a fan on me. It's blowing my hair into my face. <laughs> two fans going out the window okay. it, it got toasty up here just the sun coming in the windows will make it kind of hot upstairs mm -hmm. hi nightmar it's cooling down now hi nightmar it's cooling down and the wind is a little bit windy so pretty right now. this is one of my favorite times of the year here it's so pretty because everything's blooming is mm -hmm. it almost looks green <laughs> we don't have green, yeah. but it, everything is, looks kind of all green it's mostly weeds mm -hmm. um, but it's so pretty you said out you you went out to take care of some weeds and you were wearing a mask to yeah help. because it was windy yeah and all that pollen and stuff mm -hmm. I had good. my sunglasses on I had my mask on I know because Derek's like why do you have a mask on yeah or I wear a mask I tell because of the germs and right. so he's wondering why I was wearing one outside I said right. oh, wind and the you could do like a bandana like a cowboy you know like yeah yeah. So, but it helps because otherwise, you know, I would be sneezing. And <laughs> yeah. You had snow. Oh, my gosh. Two inches of snow. Hi, Linda. Wow. Hi, Linda. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jeannie was swimming yesterday with her friend. I couldn't believe it because, I mean, it was warm outside, but the water is cold. It is cold. I don't have a temperature gauge for the water. But I know mm -hmm. I, I usually can't go in until the end of May. That's as soon as I can go in. And her friend was there in it. Jeannie just jumps right in, but she said it was cold. It was cold. And her friend, then her friend was afraid to go in. But she, she it's exhilarating. Out. Yeah. They had fun, though. It yeah, it's, it's full on nighttime over there, Pam. Mm -hmm. You guys are night. Our sun's still up and beautiful. Six. Yeah, it's still, it's pretty bright here, too, right now. Yeah. That's why, it too, it's so weird. Um, when it stays out light, when it's light later, then I it feels like it feels like it's earlier. I love it, and I forget that it's so. Light. But it does throw you, yeah. Throws, it throws you. Like last night, oh, yesterday after after Jeannie or friend left, I thought I was just so tired. I wanted I went to lay down. I thought I'd just lay down for a short time. Well, I got I've been watching those stupid crime shows. I need to quit watching those. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god! I don't even know why I'm just like addicted now. But, but see, once you start watching them on YouTube, then they, they start recommending them. Right. Uh, so then you see the highlights. And you, have to, you have to click on it. Mm -hmm. and, oh, my gosh. So I got caught up on watching that. And before I knew it, it was like 7 o'clock. I'm thinking, oh, my God, it's 7 o'clock. I haven't even started dinner yet. <laughs> and usually I start around 6, 6.30. You must have really been into it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I need to quit watching those. Oh, my gosh. And then I go out to the garage. I always I hate lock up every night because Rory never locks anything. I go out to the garage. The garage door not only is it not locked, but it's wide open. He's done this several times. So wow. I have a we have a security door and a regular door, and they were both wide open. So I'm like, oh my god! I I get all dramatic. Oh my god, Rory! I said. You're as, he was because he was asleep on the couch. I said, "You're asleep." Then I woke him up. "You're asleep on the couch. Somebody could have come in here and with an axe and killed me, and you oh, wouldn't, have, no. wouldn't have even had a chance to get up with, and get your gun because you were sound asleep." Oh no! <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Oh my god! He goes, "Well, like somebody's gonna come in here with that." Well, you know, opportunity when the door is wide open. It's not yeah. too much. Snakes and the coyotes, not that not the coyotes mm -hmm. are going to come in, but, but can't yeah, people don't think twice about helping themselves to open garages around here. Oh, yeah, here either. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. at night, like early morning, like two, three o'clock in the morning, we had that, you know, that neighborhood, um, oh, what do you call it? That app? Watch. Yeah, you know that? No, oh, next door. Next door. Mm -hmm. On there, all the time they show in all around the neighborhood. It, on camera, these guys they come around the neighborhood and they they check all the cars that are unlocked. Wow. They ransack the cars. Every oh day. yeah, oh yeah, that happened. It's yeah, it's constantly yeah. going on. And yeah. you know, and then you hear too, like watching those channels that I do. Those you know, there was yeah. one where the guy he he was going checking doors, and it just so happened that one was unlocked, and it was it was a woman at home. She left it open because her sister went out, and she knew. And she was tired. She was going to go to bed, and she didn't. Uh, she wanted to make sure the door was open for her sister. And the guy took the opportunity. It was an opportunity. 
scary. Yeah, so that, so you know, so I worried about all those things. Hi, darling. Yeah. Hey, Poppy. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that, Poppy. Um, yeah, Sabrina is not well. She's unfortunately. Yeah. Um, oh, she, oh, that's still up there. And I like thought, it. yeah, I thought maybe she took it down. I'm sorry about that oh. confusion. I wonder if we can put a comment on her that channel. Oh, that would be a good idea. Let me see if I can Let's do that. Um, and let me say hi to Darlene. Hi, Cindy. I saw Cindy too. Um, Darlene, that's so great. I'm glad you love the bracelets. That's great. Oh, let me see if I can get over there. Let you got them. Did I say hi to everybody? Nightmare. Kathy. Yeah, I don't look at next door too much anymore. I did when um, I had a house in Seattle and we were, you know, keeping an eye on things there. There's a lot of activity there. Hi, Dandies. Oh, I should remember your name. Dandy. Just call her Dandy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Dandy. <laughs> there okay, was another name. I'm thinking of somebody else, I guess. Um, I don't know if she goes by her other name. Um, oh, okay. She can tell us if she does. Okay. Well, let me see if I can put your link in here. Um, oh, yeah, she did leave the, the link up, the show. Yeah. Yeah, there you put it in, I see, good. Yeah, I wanna put your link in too. That's gonna take me a minute. Oh, thank you, that's a good idea. So in case anybody goes over there, yeah, um, Sabrina um, wasn't able to tonight. Yeah, we really am. She put a post her. Her, on her community page. Yeah, she posted something about it. So we wish her well, and hopefully she'll be back with us next week. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she's back with us Thursday, because we're going to have a purse sale on Thursday. Oops. Oh my God. Right. I'm going to add Dandies as a moderator, even though I don't think I have your info, but I know people who do know I you, so info. I'm going ahead and make I have you info. Hi, Heather Elizabeth. Hey, Heather. Hi, Heather. I usually call her Heather. Oh, that's okay. Thursday is a bit last minute. I think it's at 3.30. Did I post it for 3.30? The the purse sale? Oh. I don't remember. I think it's at 3.30. I didn't write down the time. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -oh. It's okay. It's posted on my it's channel. I'm in the mid-afternoon, mid to it's late. It's 3.30 and 4 um, Eastern. I can't think. My brain is like, oh. Oh, is it 4 Eastern? Is it 4 Eastern? Four Eastern. I put 4 Eastern? Oh. Uh, no, I'm asking you. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go look. <laughs> it's okay. I know, it's on my channel. I don't even know. We'll about. look and we'll clarify. I, I want to say 3.30, but you never know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start since we're 20 minutes in. Thank you, um, Heather, for Heather Elizabeth and Scott for sending people our way, even though it was confusing about where. Um, we appreciate it. Very it's going to be at 3.30, 3.30 Eastern. 3.30 Eastern. So that's 1.30 my time. 12.30. 12.30 my time. Yes. I'm going to write that in my book right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, math is so fun. 12. I know. 30. I guess I'm the same time as you now. You're, yeah, it's even worse for you since it changes half the year. Okay, here, I'll put the link in for you guys. So if you want to go and... Um, Thanks, right, Julie. Yes, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank yeah. you for subscribing if you're not already subscribed, if you're hanging out watching. I think the subscriber mode's on, so if you're chatting, you're obviously subscribed. But um, And make sure I will be putting Kathy's link in the chat, so make sure you subscribe to her as well. And it's probably already in the description, too, if you need to. Oh, thank you. Yes, hit the thumbs up. So um, I'll go over some of our logistics and how we run our sale show chat. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, please do keep chatting, um, greet each other, ask questions, 
just chit chat. Don't worry about us. We'll just keep doing our thing. But we just love it. We love chattier you. the better. We love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. And um, and we're pretty good at watching the chat. Um, sometimes we'll miss something and someone will help us out. But um, put it in all caps and all kinds of emojis yeah. if you want to get. Yeah, you can do order. that. If we're missing something, yeah, just yeah. do that. Yeah, but don't don't let that deter you from just chatting because you know thinking that maybe it'll be in the way. It's not. Out chasing mice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jan and I thought you were late because you're out chasing mice. You're like, where are they? Oh yeah, the kitties chasing mice. Yeah. yeah. So we're here, um, we're gonna do a little sale. We do mostly offer ups on this channel or on the show. Um, sometimes we'll do buy it now, so we'll let you know that in the chat, we'll put in starting bid SB or buy it now BIN. Um, and if you're interested in the item, you put in the, the dollar amount. Um, and we don't do just in case on this channel, we do, um, appreciate it if you let us know if you're out if you're actively bidding and you decide you've reached your limit and you're out just let us know before we do and then we'll start the countdown if we start the countdown going once going twice and sold if we if we have not yet gotten to the sold um and you come in a new person comes in then we'll start the process over again it doesn't take too much time to do that um at least the way you know, our sales have been um, we try to move it along pretty quickly, but we want to let everyone have a fair chance to put in the amount that they are willing to pay. Um, that uh, So you don't have to try to guess and worry about lag speed and lag time and, and internet speeds, things like that. Um, yes, I did get Larimar and I think I have Larimar tonight. I'll have to double check. Because I made some for a special request and I had a few left. So I'll have to just double check. But I was going to show bracelets tonight. Um, yeah, I do. I have I have one um, eight millimeter and one six millimeter. I'll show those later. Anyway, um, Kathy ships from Arizona. I ship from Washington State. We do we both do calculated shipping on your package with Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship gives us a discounted rate over the post office, which is great. Um, I noticed a big difference when I purchased something from yeah. someone who doesn't use Pirate Ship. I yeah. noticed the, the difference in price. Are so you um, it really helps. And we try to keep your package um, weight and size as reasonable as possible while also protecting the items inside so that um, we're not adding extra weight to your package that you end up paying for. Um, the shipping does not is not included in the purchase price. So it's a separate um, cost, but we only charge you for the amount that we're charged. We don't pad it. We don't uh, charge handling. I saw that stuff. I, I was so close to picking yes. that up, but I'm trying not to get rings that I'm not sure are going to fit right. So I just decided not to, because I have so many rings that are so big that I can't wear them. Anyway, um, congratulations on that. Um, we do use PayPal for invoicing, and we do ask that you pay, you know, as soon as you can, um, unless you have made arrangements with us, and just all you have to do is email, send an Instagram message, just something, just to let us know. Um, right after it's paid, I usually get it out within 24 hours. Now, that being said, I did have a couple um, people pay their invoices late in the week last week. So I decided to hold them till Monday. So thank you so much for paying your invoice. I just decided I'll just wait until Monday in case somebody picks up Not something. Not that already, Nightmare? That was fast. Wow. Usually it takes... Oh, yeah. She posted. Um, oh, on, I didn't see. Is it on your YouTube page, Nightmare? I think so. It's beautiful. Oh, I have to go look. Wow. That was I really fast. enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. I love that. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful piece. I'm really glad you like it, Nightmare. Yeah. It's, I was reminded when I saw that post. I was like, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, let me make you Tanya uh, mod as well. Oh, it's on our community page? Oh, wow. I'll have to look at that. Okay. Nice. 
Where are you, Yutanya? Okay, so I got sidetracked, I apologize. So what did I forget to say, Kathy? Really anything. Um, if you have any questions as we go, please just, you know, like anything, just ask us. Just remember, com communication is key. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty easy, like, you know, with the invoices. If, um, say, you say, you know, I get paid on the 15th or I get paid on the 30th or can you wait till Friday? Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. And same, like, I take within a week to invoice. And I am a little bit behind. I think I do have some from last Sunday that I probably still have. Maybe if I do have anybody from that. Thank um, you, Cheryl. Yes, we will have add ons today. Actually, I think I'm. I think I'm caught up. I might have one, um, and it was just one little small thing that I thought I told it for someone. Uh, other than that, I actually am caught up for a change. Um, but I usually invoice within a week, and we are having a sale on Thursday, the, the handbag and accessories. So there could be, I think I might even have T-shirts in there. So it could be purses, jewelry, whatever. Um, it's just not home decor. It's just, you know wearable or whatever i don't know how you want to yeah. say it. um <laughs> if you want to wait until after thursday which more than likely i probably will have mine is okay this is what i'm going to say i'm going to wait until after thursday to do the, sh the invoices and give me within one week from thursday if for some reason you want it sooner say oh no i can't wait just can you do invoice me monday i'd be more than happy to but you have to send me an email and let me know that Okay. You can let me know in the chat too. Hopefully I'll remember it. I can try to write it down, but, but communication is key. So if you need it right away, just let me know. And I want to say real quick. Hi, Joanne. Joanne McGuire's here. Nice Kathy, I didn't send you an invoice. <laughs> she wants one, I guess. I'm not getting one. <laughs> just make it up. <laughs> yeah, just, send me, just send me a hundred bucks and I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're half an hour in. I guess we'll get started. Um, yeah. Uh, Cheryl mentioned add ons. We will do add ons at the end of the show. Um, if you're not familiar with them, we'll explain it again later. Basically, if you've made a purchase with us, you're eligible to pick up an add on. Um, it's just something quick and easy to throw into your box. Um, just some fun, smaller items that maybe don't aren't worthy of being in the regular sale. So, hi, Christy. How are you doing? Good to see you. Okay. Um, I'm, we're going to start with Kathy. Is that all right with you, Kathy? Sure. Absolutely. Let's see if I remember how to do this uh, <laughs> stream yard thing. I know. It's weird. If you don't do it. I, I'm, I'm like that, too. If I don't do it for a week, it's like, I mm -hmm. feel so, so weird. Yeah. There we go. So, okay. So, first item. Let's go with this little frog. I think this is soapstone. And this is going to start at ten dollars, and it's kind of heavy. Has some weight to it, um, and I'm pretty sure I saw one listed online. And it said soapstone, so mm -hmm. I think that's what this is. Not sure, but he's kind of cool. Like I said, he has some weight to him. But it is really neat, mm -hmm. and I'll get you a measurement. It's not like a gray and white. There's a little frog sitting on a, I don't know if that's a lily pad, but it's kind of cool. Oh, Leanne's getting to close to, oh, who's getting close to 500? Why Nightmare? Nightmare. I think. Nightmare? Oh, I thought, I thought Nightmare was way up there. I didn't realize. I thought she was over a thousand already for some reason. Oh. Christy's in. Christy, you in for 10? Yeah, it is. It does yeah. look like carved stone. I think it's soapstone, but I'm not sure. It is definitely stone and it is heavy. It has some weight to it. It's really cool. And I'll get you a measurement on this. It's really neat. Um, oh, what I did earlier? I knew it was here. Oh, there it is. I was just about to write something down. And I looked for my pencil. When I found my pencil, I couldn't remember what I was going to write down. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I know the feeling because I, oh my gosh, I do things like that all the time. Okay, it is um, four, 
just a little over four inches tall and about three inches, you know, across like that, that way. And Pam asked, what colors is it? Is it like gray it's and white? Gray, like gray and white or, or gray, a darker gray and lighter gray. Let me see if I can get this. Not focusing very good for some reason. Come on, what are you focusing on? There's nothing. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Let me see if I have my white paper. Oh, Mary Beth's here. Hi, Mary Beth. Hey, Beth. Hope I didn't miss anybody in the chat. Hope you guys can see that okay. Oops. So we have 10 from Christy. She thinks that Kelly would like it. Kelly, um, Kelly Blanchard. Oh, does she play frogs? Frogs. Oh, I didn't know that. I had no idea. And it was just Pam's birthday, um, I think, yesterday. Oh, yeah, she had a birthday. Yep. I think it was yesterday. I'm not sure if it was yesterday or the day before. But, yeah, okay, so Darlene's at 11. Darlene. Hi, Jane. Oh, Jan. Oh, Jane. I was just saying she put hi, Jane. So I'm thinking, if, if Jane is here, hi, Jane. <laughs> oh, she collects frogs. I had no idea. I don't know that. You know, you know. You know. Oh, it's slow building subs if you don't go live. Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You have GPS left. <laughs> Yeah, and I wasn't live for a while on my channel, and I lost a couple subscribers, so that's kind of really? how oh, yeah. I, Mine always goes up and down. Yeah. yeah, I know I have it. Hi, Nick. I haven't been doing as many um, lives. Uh, Christy, let me know if you're still in. Darlene's at 11. Let me know if you want to go 12 or higher. Otherwise, we'll count it down for Darlene. Oh, and Darlene, yours is the one. Okay, Darlene, I still have um, something for you that I have not invoiced yet. So, I actually, I'm, I'm not caught up. You had one item, um, so but I can start. Um, I could do that if you want me to wait till after Thursday, or I can do it um, Monday. Let me know. But I do have one item for you. It has not been invoiced. Yes, um, yes, wait, or yes, invoice. <laughs> <laughs> so Christy was in at 12 and Darlene came back at 13. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you guys like my little froggy. Little froggy. I'm going to throw Nightmare's link in the chat. Um, please consider subscribing to our friend Nightmare. Yeah, she has an awesome channel. If you like um, my stuff to go to sleep to, nice, nice call me. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Darlene says send. Oh, okay. So I'll, do, I'll start uh, tomorrow then. Well, you'll, you'll be top priority. Nice. So Darlene, Christy came back at 14. Darlene's at 15. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dandy said when she didn't go live for a little bit, she lost about 75 yeah. subs. Wow. wow. That's How long was, oh, that's, that's, wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. oh. Anybody else who's in the chat and wants to put their link in, please do. We love to help. Yes, absolutely. Um, put your, we're, go ahead. Put your link in. Yeah. Okay, Darlene is out, so we can count it down. Christy, thank you, Darlene, for letting us know. Thank you, Darlene. Christy. Christy, if you have, um, oh, because I think you're selling, sending this to Kelly, right? You could send me her, her info. That's awesome. So, oh, I have Pam's address. You want me to send it to Pam? I can send it to Pam. Sure, absolutely. So, um, Christy, and we'll send it. 
to Pam for Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Pam, nice. I'll write all that down or I won't remember. Sure, I can do that. Thank you so much. Sure. Yes, and she's put her links in, link in. She's 30 away from 500. She's been growing like crazy. because she's She's been doing a lot, a lot of work. Yeah. So please, please. Did you put yours in? Or or? Angie. Yeah, Julie, please subscribe to Julie. Julie and I are going to be doing a crafting live starting on Wednesday, starting on Julie's channel, and I'll be going back and You're forth. You're busy this week. This week is a busy week. <laughs> yeah, I have a few other things too, so it's a busy week. Christy, I have yours as long as you didn't move. I can't keep that pace up usually. So Okay, so thank you so much, Christy. Okay, and the next item, let's see. Um, can I bring everything over here? Let's just do this little, it's just a little guy. Um, it's a, a Boyd's Bear Bunny. So it's a Boyd's Bunny, I guess. This will be $6, $6 start. And there's Becky. Becky's uh, Vintage and More. And Becky yes. has sales. Uh, I know she's doing Thursday evenings now mm -hmm. um, on her channel. So this is just a little boy's buddy. I know Easter is over, but she is adorable. She's so cute. She's got a little hat. And I think her hat does come off. You could take the hat off if you wanted to, but the hat is so cute. And it's so perfect for spring. Um, she does have movable arms and legs. You could, she could sit down. She's just so stinking cute. She's a little, a little one. Um, she has her Boyd's tag. It says not from 1990 to 1998. A little tush tag. It is. Very good. Oh yeah. The Boyd's collection. Um, she's just adorable. Hi, Chrissy. Cute. Her fur she's is just cute. Love her little way. tail. <laughs> she's really cute. And she measures. Let's Mitch see. She thinks she's cute too. She is not including her ears. She's seven inches. If you want to include her ears, she's almost 10 inches. And I see Mitch. I see you, Mitch. Thank you so much. Yay. There's little eyes, and she is sweet. Very, very sweet. Darling. I don't see anybody else, so we can go ahead and count her down. Oh, you're also on Saturday with Aaron? Oh, on every Saturday? Or just this coming Saturday? Going once. Or on Saturday. Thanks for putting that in, Julie. You guys can bookmark if you're interested in the Little Golden Book Junk Journal tutorial live. We'd love to have you. I can't wait to see that. Oh, thanks, Mitch. Oh, thanks, Nick. Oh. Thank you, Mitch. Okay, that was my second. Thank you so much. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Darlene oh. came in right before the sold. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, everybody. We're going to go back to... We're going to go with her, her seven. We'll see if Midge wants to come back. Oh, that's we, nice, Becky. That's great. I always have fun with, um, with them. I've been on with them before. I just I'm, don't have the stamina to do it every week. I, but. I can't either. I just can't. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Oh, thank you, Midge. Midge is back at eight. Image. Yeah, I, I can't do it. Sorry. I mean, that's why I'm even, um, you know, kind of stepping away a little bit from sales. I mean, I'm still going to do sales. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do as many, um, at least for a while, until mm -hmm. I can get things more yeah. organized. <laughs> and okay. too, like, if I wasn't babysitting, it'd be so much easier. Yeah. But mm -hmm. When I babysit Monday through Friday, that takes everything out of me. <laughs> Your prep time is gone. Yeah, it is just, just, it's just too much. Yeah, um, I'm too old. <laughs> it's a lot for anybody. So I just. Okay. So Midge came back at eight. Darlene's at nine. Thanks, Darlene. Awesome. Yeah, she's a cutie. That, that is cute. one of the cuter ones. I love her coloring too. 
Yeah, you're right. Kids take every ounce of energy. Right. They Mitch eat. is out. Thank you for letting us know, Thank Mitch. Much. Sorry, Mitch. All right, uh, okay. Darlene's in, okay, we'll count it down for Darlene. Calm down again. Going once and going twice. So to Darlene. Thank you, Darlene. For eight. Nine. Sorry, nine. <laughs> there we go. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. As, that was my second. That was it. Okay. I feel like so, I took forever. <laughs> let me know. Um, remember last week when I was typing, it was people could hear it on my oh, computer. Yeah. Let me know if this, you know, when I'm typing in, if that is also distracting. Otherwise, I'll mute myself when I have to type. Um, that wasn't a problem with my old computer, but I think with this computer, it might just pick it up differently. So. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have a doll. It's a porcelain doll, and it's going to start at twelve. Twelve dollars. It is from nineteen eighty-eight, and I know that because oh, Becky can hear me typing. Okay, oh, okay. That's so disappointing because you know we type in for each other, and I don't want any kind of noise distraction. So I don't know what to do about that. Oh, it's no big deal. Okay. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I'll try to be I, I was quieter. just curious what it was when I heard it. I thought, what is that noise? My what? last computer, I think, just had a quieter keyboard or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or maybe a different microphone. You can't can't you adjust the, the sound on the keyboard or not? The sound on the keyboard? Isn't there a way to make it? I don't know. I thought that there I, was something. Uh, some keyboards you can adjust it for um, to make it more sensitive so you don't have to press as hard, that kind of thing. I'll play with it, but thanks for letting me know, you guys, in the chat. I appreciate it. Um, so it's a collector porcelain doll. It doesn't, I think the brand is Doll Boutique. Hi, Patty. Um, I, for some reason, I wrote down what it was in the year. <laughs> I collected porcelain dolls when I was a teenager, so that's what this is from. But she just sat in the um, the box. So, oh, okay. Thanks, Scott. And thanks, John. That'll be good. Okay. That makes me feel better, Cheryl. Thank you. So thank she's really cute. I'll take her out. But I just wanted to show you that she's just been all these many years just in her little plastic wrap and, and box. So she is all porcelain, legs, feet, arms. Sorry. Oh, you hear stuff. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Let me put that up there. There we go. So she is so cute. She's got blonde hair, blue eyes. She doesn't have eyes that sleep. So she's forever awake. But she has a cute little bonnet. Most of the dolls that I collected, I ended up, you know, putting out on the on display. And they were still in pretty good shape by the end of the run that I had with the porcelain dolls. But so she has little bloomers on. I'm going to say the elastic isn't really tight. Maybe it just kind of loosened up over time. Hi, Randy. Hi, Randy. But like I said, she hasn't like been played with or anything. Honey. Like she has cute little legs and little shoes. I have my all my dolls displayed in here right now. <laughs> Do ya? So many yeah. dolls. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I need to start selling some. <laughs> I love dolls too. I love them. When I look at them, especially the last ones I got, I love them so much. Yeah. Ugh, they're just so this one's about 13 inches tall. Oh, she's adorable. And I don't have a name for her. She didn't come with anything inside here. She's just Oh, she's really cute. Cute, got cute little hands. How are you doing? Christy, hi. So, yeah, she's got her little bloomers. Let's see. Her body is cloth. Oh, she does have a mark on the back of her neck here. Let's see if I can show it to you. I don't have any idea what that says. I can't tell. It kind of looks like a maple leaf. Hmm. Let me put my glasses on to see if I can read it. Sorry, I forgot to look ahead of the show. 
Oh, hi, Weed. How are you? Hey, Weed. I care of bloomers. Mom. Yeah, oh, all I can make out here is porcelain. Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't see that, Kathy. <laughs> I'm going to probably start selling some of my nuns, too. If I, if I can, I don't know. I might be might not be able to part with them. I keep looking at them and I said, oh, maybe I'll sell these and I changed my mind. <laughs> Somebody was showing a nun the other day and said, where's Kathy? I know, people, every time I see nuns, they say that. Yeah. She's, really, she's a sweet little face. Didn't you start thinning out your nun and fryer collection? I sold one nun thing. Um, you got you got as far as selling one. Uh, and, then, yeah, and then I couldn't go any further. Yeah. <laughs> Did somebody That's buy cute. Helen's nun? Oh, it was Helen that had it, yeah. Did somebody buy it? I don't know. I don't know. I had to go back and look at the replay. So the porcelain I hands and arms go like elbow. The legs go up to the thigh. Oh, in case you were wondering. Well, I'm going to put her aside. She is pretty. I'm just sorry I can't read the mark there. Yeah, she's really sweet. I don't, honestly, I don't think she's a fancy brand or any, she's not like a Seymour man or anything like that. But she's adorable. She is in really good shape. So I'll put her back in the box. And we'll go to the next week. Week. We We missed you last week. Yeah, where were you? <laughs> Oh, nobody bought it. Oh my gosh. No. Uh oh. Look at it. Don't tell her that. Look at it. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> All right. I have this uh, glass, milk glass goblet for uh, $8 start. Oops. Looks like my light's going to wash it out. Let me turn it off for a minute. So, this is the Harvest Grape pattern from Indiana Glass. It has no chips or cracks. It's been in my collection of milk glass. Nice and clean. No chips or cracks or any kind of flaws. I know some people say, you can put a tea light in it. You could do that. I would just be... I would caution you to not use one that is um, has a metal bottom because that can be um, it can oh, get a little hot and, and oh, break your glass if it gets too low. So uh, five and a half inches tall, but a battery operated one would be lovely. Oh yeah. Even better, what I was just doing is displaying some silver plated um, like flatware, like serving pieces in it. And I thought that looked nice. Oh, that's a good idea too. Yeah. Let me try the light again. So again, it's Indiana glass. It's um, harvest grape pattern. And I just have one. Like I said, it's lovely for, for adding to a display. Camera's in at eight. Oh, thank you, Tamara. I appreciate that. Thank you. For Tamara. Not sure how to pronounce it right. <laughs> Heather Elizabeth had some beautiful goblets. They were silver plated. Oh, oh they were gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I missed her sale. I'm going to have to go back and watch the replay. Very, oh, very she, classy. She always has nice things. Oh, she has beautiful items. All right, we can count down for tomorrow. If anyone else is interested, come on in before we get to sold. And again, we don't do last call. We do going once, going twice, and sold. Tomorrow with it. Yeah, okay, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow. I remember that. Thank you. I'll put it aside for you. You know, the box that, the box that I usually put all my um, items in for the sale, my cat was laying in it all day and I couldn't have, <laughs> it's like I didn't have access to this box to pr put my stuff in. And finally I had to kick him out and he's still sleeping. Oh, shit. I don't know what his deal is. I forgot to bring my box that I usually put the things in after I show them that sold. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. 
I just have to be, keep making trips across the way. Yeah. Okay. So my next item, this was something that I told you Jeannie is cleaning out her room and things that she decided she doesn't want anymore. And this was from a live sale that she um, said she liked it. And the person, I spell back, they gifted it to her. But now it's for sale. <laughs> um, yeah. She decides she's going to be a minimalist. And this is going to start uh, at, um, where is it? I write this down at, I think it's $8. Oh gosh, I can't find it. We're going to do $8. Um, this is Napco. Wow. Wear. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Normally I would keep this, but I am downsizing too. <laughs> I said, I'm starting to go through my collection. I love this. I, I love things with hands. But this is absolutely beautiful. And I don't see anything. I'm going to look at it. Well, we'll look at it together. I don't think there's any chips or anything. I think it's in pretty good condition. Um, but yeah, she loved this and had, you know, and I said, Jeannie, quit saying that you like things when you're on my sale with me. Because <laughs> then people are like, you know, they, they buy it, they give it to yeah. her. Noelle, hi. Noelle's in. Yeah. yeah, the only thing there's a there's a little mark in there. Oh, yeah. that. That's the only thing I see wrong with it. It won't come out. It was probably in the firing. But this is just beautiful. Look at that. She even has a ring on. She's got nail polish. And it does have the sticker on the bottom. Oh wow. That's, you know, I always see that. Focus. Come on. Why aren't you focusing tonight? I'm so disappointed in you, camera. Oh, there we go. Oops, that's upside down. So it is Napco. Japan, I'm sure that's what it said. And now it's, it's gone again. Could you possibly be focusing on? I really like the, the roses and the gilding and all of that. I know, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And I'll get you a measurement. Very feminine, dainty. So, look at that. Oh, my gosh. I love that so much. Okay, let me get you a measurement. And my ruler. Walked away again. I know you were just here. How could that be? <laughs> Where did it go? I just measured that other thing. Okay, well, <laughs> six, seven inches, maybe. I probably sitting. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Okay, I see if you're right. Uh, about five and a half inches tall. Okay, and about three and a half inches across. And I only see Noel. Nobody else is in. So yep. if you guys want again, going nine or higher, and we're going to start counting it down. You know what? I'll go once. <laughs> Count them twice. And we're sold to Noelle. Thank you so much, Noelle. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so. Yeah, it is beautiful. Okay, it is. Okay, and then my next item, another item from Jeannie's room. <laughs> no, sorry, it's six dollars. And this is a uniform. Oh, cute. I don't know where she got this one? My husband probably got this one. Um, I think she bought it from me, or somebody oh, bought it from me. From her. Yeah, gave it to her. It looks familiar. What? Oh, you know, I feel so bad. No, she, somebody bought it for her from me. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. So Don't feel bad. No. <laughs> I just husband. remember because she liked unicorns and. Oh, okay. Yeah, she. Yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. Um, I yeah. and my husband like I told my husband well, I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. Some of the stuff was gifted. He goes, you're gonna sell it. People are gonna get mad at you. I said, well, what do I do? <laughs> you know. No. She enjoyed it. Hey, she enjoyed Sorry. it for a while. You know, yeah. she enjoyed it for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. So but it's beautiful. Um, it is by Spencer Gifts. Yes. So this was from you, huh? Yeah. 
1985. Whoever purchased this, I don't know who it was. You know, she appreciated it. Yeah. She appreciated it, and now we can let somebody else enjoy it. Exactly. But yeah, it's a really nice. I remember it, but in person, the porcelain just looked really like fine porcelain. Yeah. Like it it's has a really cute. nice glow to it. Mm -hmm. It's not a cheap, it's not a cheapy piece. It's really right. nicely, very nicely done. And then with the gold gilding, mm -hmm. it's really nice. Yeah, they do go through fads. So do we, actually. Yeah, we do too. Because you know what? I'm going, I'm going to be selling my stuff too that. Mm -hmm. Things that I, I purchased uh, from yeah. online sellers, you know, so, and then we get a measurement on this. That's right. We enjoy it and we can give it a new Yeah, home. and now somebody else can enjoy it. It's like six and a quarter inches tall. So, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I see Christy is in at six. Thank you, Christy. And I probably sold it for more than that. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Good. It's a good deal if you get it for six. Whoever purchased it isn't here. Yes. I oh. wish I could remember. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> don't think. Don't think about it. Is it you, Apple? <laughs> well, Apple, I hope it wasn't you. She is guilty of gifting. <laughs> Yeah, Apple's a good gifter, so. Yeah. So let's go ahead and count it down for Chrissy. I don't, yeah, this is beautiful. It's really pretty. It has nice details on it. Look at that right here. Very, very pretty. Someone else can enjoy it. I'll give her money for it. I knew that was something else I bought. I sold it for $10. Like, I gave it oh. um, the money and she's like what's that for i said because i sold your i sold something to hers and she goes you didn't have to do that I yeah thought, it was your item and she was so happy. <laughs> I, I said well you know, it's yours so why not and you that's right yeah okay so that is sold to christy thank you so much christy okay and then i guess that's it that was my second so thank you so much everybody okay <laughs> Um, let's do this little guy. He's not so little. He's actually kind of weighty. He's a bird okay. and probably would be cute in a garden, something like that, but you could have it just about anywhere. This is going to start at, of course, I'm going out of order, just $8. Is that metal? It is metal, yes, and it has a tag. That's cool. I like that. Um, it's not vintage. Um, it's more oh. modern. Um, although I don't know quite how old it is. It was in my mom's collection. She had it in her windowsill and quite liked it. Um, so it was never outside. So that what you see, the patina you see is um, just how it was made. That's neat. I like that. And this, this part feels solid. So if you're wondering about weight, oh, thanks, Mary Beth. I went to highlight and then <laughs> right there. I didn't even realize that I was highlighting your, your eight. Thank you. So it stands really nicely on the feet. Um, yes, but this is, this is a solid piece here. So it's not hollow. It does have some weight, a couple pounds, maybe. Cute. But yeah, it has the tag. She never took off the tag. Looks like it was $9.99 originally. I've been enjoying it, but I can move it along. Oh, thanks. Um, I don't know why I keep messing up your name, Julie. Obviously, I know you. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. Julie, I'm about to book a trip to um, LA. I'll have to message you on, on my dates. Thank you, Mary Beth, for your bid. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Mary Beth. I don't know what um, kind of bird it is. I'm assuming some sort of water bird with these long legs. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but he's, he's really cute. Let me give you a measurement real quick. 
let Julie and Mary Beth work it out. To the top of the tail, which is the highest point, I'm going to say it's seven and a half inches tall. And it's about seven and a half inches long as well. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Mary Beth. This is feet there. Nicely welded. It's not gonna, it's not gonna come apart at all. Thank you, Julie. All right, we have Mary Beth at 16. If there's no other interest, we're gonna go ahead and count down. Hopefully you can see the color is self-explanatory. It's like a it's like a brown color. I'm glad you guys liked it. Like it. Nice. That could that picture, Mary Beth, on your <laughs> on your avatar or icon. That's so cute. Yeah, it's so cute. Me every time. Mm -hmm. Every time I see it, I love it. All right, Mary Beth. Let me put you down. Thank you so much. And oh my box. Where's my box? I'll put it here for now. Okay. This, this item's pretty cool. This is a Starbucks tin that I had never seen before. And when I looked it up, it did say it was limited edition. So maybe they didn't make very many of them. I don't know. But this is going to start at $12. It does have a few little scratches. So I will show you that. It is a tin that was made in England. And it has that vintage vibe. I don't know how old it is. You know, Starbucks has been around since 1971. Um, there's a little scratch right here. So you be aware of that. It's basically a truck with coffee bags, which I thought was so cool. It's neat. This side's in pretty good shape. I'm going to say I saw one little scratch right here on this side. So not too bad. So this is this would be my display side if I were going to choose one. The other side has a, a bigger scratch. But really, when I was displaying it, I didn't see any flaws, honestly. And then this is what the top looks like. Some scratches right here. And here is the bottom where it says designed and manufactured in England for Starbucks mm -hmm. by Silver Cream Designs. So I thought that was a little different mm -hmm. and surprising. Hand painted original artwork reproduced on this tin portrays a war the warm memories of days gone by as interpreted by the Silver Crane vehicle artist Peter Carter. Silver Crane tins are produced in rural Dorset, England, and are sold and adored around the world. So I didn't see a lot of them when I looked online. The ones I did see were pricier than this. It does have a little bit of wear on the inside, but relatively, relatively clean, not bad. You could probably put, you know, a pound or two of coffee in here if you wanted to store coffee. You could definitely stack tins that you were collecting with this one. It looks really good in a kitchen. So it's eight and a half inches long, five and a half or five inches tall, and three and a half inches deep. Mm. Oh, good, Angie. I'm glad you're done with work. You need to take I a break. You had to work on a Sunday. That girl's always working, I'm telling you. <laughs> it just has this cool vintage vibe. Again, I don't know how old it is. I just love the artwork on it. What are they doing in the back, these guys? I think they're having some coffee. <laughs> Maybe they're done picking the. They look the like they need coffee. They look like they're kind of tired. Yeah. True. Maybe they just got off work and they're they're hitching a ride in the back of the truck. And it's SCC One, Starbucks Coffee Company One. All right. Well, think about this. 
think it's pretty neat. I know it has a little few little flaws here and there, but I think it's still really a cool piece that I have not seen before. So think about that. I'm going to set it aside. We're going to go back to Kathy. There we go. Okay, this next item, I'm going to start it off at $10. And this is a wood picture frame. It was made in Taiwan. I do have the original box for it. I could ship it in the box if you want me to. Um, it would probably take up some more room. Um, I added these. I just added some printables in here just so it wasn't plain. But, of course, you can add any picture you want in there. But they are wood, and they have, like, a little design up here. I put some scary nuns in there. Look at that. Are they spooky? She's not, but she they're spooky, I think. Ooh, they are scary. <laughs> but it's a, a hinge frame. Really nice. Yeah. And it's really easy to change the picture out. You just take this out. Or this comes out. And you just pop out that. And it has the nice, um, hey, Kay, how are you? Hi, Kay. And the little brass hinges. And I believe it is glass. So you can set it on a table or you can hang it because it has little hinges on the back. And I will get you a measurement on this. So open, this is 10 and a half by, by eight and three quarters. Um, the inside dimension is kind of an odd size. It's like three and three quarters by six and a half. And the outside of one single frame is five and inches across by nine. So really nice little picture frame. All wood, wood and glass. Darlene bidding for K. So really nice. And now, like I said, you can put any picture in there. It was just plain, so I decided to put some of my printables in there. <laughs> it has a cool um, retro vibe with that wood. Yes. Kind of yeah. carved out. Mm -hmm. Really nice. You can put whatever picture you want, family, old family photos, or whatever you want. I see Darlene is in at 10. Thank you, Darlene. Oh, yeah, Darlene and Kay are sisters, right? Oh, are they sisters? I had no idea. I didn't know that. I knew they knew each other, but I didn't know that they were related if i'm remembering correctly if not i just embarrassed myself <laughs> i know that um sometimes darlene is at k's i didn't know her. oh maybe they're just friends i don't know i don't know they can let us know but what are are you guys are you sisters darlene and Kay? sisters are friends or both or both yeah <laughs> John. Oh, I know. She said they're creepy. She said they're scary. Said scary. They're creepy, see? Yeah. These two. These, I actually printed these for Halloween. <laughs> but she, I don't think she's creepy. She's a nun. She's praying. She's, she's praying. Whistling. She's praying for your soul, John. Mm -hmm. She's dreaming. <laughs> oh, Heather Elizabeth's here. Oh, she likes it. Yeah, it's a nice little frame. Because the frame was made in Taiwan. I do have the box. If somebody's interested in the in the box. Like I said, these are just these are just printables from the computer. Digital downloads. <laughs> oh, best friends since kindergarten. Okay, so practice. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Since kindergarten. Nice. That means at 12. Thank you so much. Yeah, these images um, you can just download from the we talked about this the other day. I, just, I forgot the name of the thing again. I always want to say Creative Commons, but it's, um, oh. you knew what it was. Um, 
copyright free or uh, oh. public domain. Public domain. <laughs> yeah. Darlene says I'm younger. <laughs> uh, Heather is out, so we can go ahead and count. Thank you, Heather. We can count it down for um, for Darlene. I just I met up with my, I have two really good friends here. The one is a snowbird, camps just in the winter. And we've known each other for 50 years. I was in high school when we met, but um, Julie was the very first person I met when I moved to where I'm living now. So thank you so much, Darlene. I'll add that to your box. And was that my second? Oh, no, that was my first, wasn't it? That was first, yeah. Okay, and that was at $12. Okay, the second one I have is really cute. And this is going to start at at $8. It's pretty, I'm starting it pretty low. I don't know if this is Shawnee. Some people say, some, they were saying Shawnee, but it's not, I don't know if it's Shawnee or not. All I know is it's adorable. <laughs> and it's a little pig planter. Oh, it kind of looks like Porky Pig. Mm -hmm. It does have, I think they did use this as a planter because it has a little bit of residue in here. I couldn't get this out. It felt like it had that um, like uh, floral foam in there. And I got oh. most of it out, but this little stain I can't get out. But it's so stinking cute. Very cute. Yeah, look at this little tail. Little squiggly tail. A squiggly tail. It's no marking on the bottom. So I don't know if it's Shawnee or not. It's definitely vintage. Very kitschy, very cute. You can put like a little succulent in there. This one, oops, this one needs a shorter stem, but it would be really cute. Um, let me get this in here if I blend it. Yeah, a little faux plant or a little faux arrangement. Like a little, look at how cute that is. Yeah. That's just adorable. Really, really cute. Let me get your measurement. This is about three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches tall. It's a cute, cute little, there's, I don't see any chips or cracks. Let me make sure. I see no chips, no cracks, just a little stain inside. It's so, so cute. I love the way the paint is airbrushed on. Can't yeah, you yes. yeah, the interwebs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good on. He is cutie. I'm trying to think what else you could put in there besides plant. Um, I don't know. Bottle brush tree. Oh, yeah. Always can put a bottle brush tree in there. Mm -hmm. He's a cutie. Cutie patootie. And I see Christy is in at eight. Thank you, Christy. I don't see anyone else. So we can go ahead and count it. Oh, wait a minute. Darlene's at eight. Darlene, you have to go nine or higher. Chrissy's at eight. So, Darlene, let me know if you're in or out. He's cute. I love that airbrush look. I do too. I really like that. Okay. Uh -huh. so Darlene's at nine. Receives at 10. This little piggy went to market. <laughs> do you ever do that with Jeannie? Yeah, yeah. she's laying on his toes. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. 
Thanks again, everybody, for joining us tonight. Hopefully you found us, okay? Darlene's out, so we can count it down for Christy. Thank you so much, Darlene. All right. Let's go twice. So to Christy. Thank you so much, Christy. That was my second. Congrats, congrats. Congratulations. All right. I was just trying to pull up your oh you your channel says it's 1.01k subscribers. What does that mean? Well you're it's a thousand point zero one. That's good. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> like, oh. What is zero one? <laughs> I still don't know what zero one is. It's a it's a fraction. Okay. Above. <laughs> there There's Kathy's channel. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. The only way I can t I can figure out the exact amount is if I go to analytics, and then it'll tell you like it's one thousand eight subscribers. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Kathy got it. Must be one thousand and ten. Oh, so it's ten. Oh, thank you, Kathy. So it's ten subscribers. Oh, I got ten subscribers. So I got two extra subscribers tonight. Thank you so much. Yay. I still need to do my giveaway. I might do it. I'm thinking about doing it Thursday on our, oh no, I'd like to post it a week before. But I will be doing a giveaway. And I'll give you guys right. a one week to do it. Hi, Sandy. Out. How are you? Hi, How are you? Okay. Yeah. I have a glass bowl, a depression glass bowl. Um, this is going to start at $8. I looked it up. Um, it's a pretty good price. I'm not going to say there aren't others that are about the same, but the difference is I saw one that was listed for eight and they wanted $15 shipping, which I thought was oh, a lot. Yeah, eBay so does that a lot. That's how they, yeah, that's how mm -hmm. they get you. Um, so thank you for putting that in, Kathy. So this is called Cabbage Rose um, Sharon. And this is a yellow or gold depression glass bowl. It's about eight and a half inches in diameter. And it has no chips or cracks at all. It does have what I think might be a bubble. Um, Cause I could feel, I could feel a little something. I just wanted to show you where I could feel something right here. And you can kind of see it. It's a little faint, but it's not a chip. And it's not a crack. And I don't even think it's a scratch. I think it was in the molding process. With maybe a tiny, tiny bubble. So I wanted to show you that, but I don't think there's any damage. A beautiful condition for depression glass. It, it kind of has like a honey yellow color. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera, but it is about this big, like I said, eight and a half inches in diameter. It would be great for Thanksgiving, especially for those who like depression glass. I was thinking of sending it to my daughter. She loves, she loves depression glass. I think I had a compote like that. Mm -hmm. I love the pattern. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if I sold it. I can't remember, but I know I, it seems to me I did. I think I did sell it. I'm trying to find a piece of here. Hi, Joanne. I don't know if you were here already, Joanne. I'm not sure. Have I missed you before? Yeah, I think she's been here. Well, maybe I said hi already. I just forgot that I said hi. I've done that so many times. All right, let's give you a height too. I give you the diameter. Let's see. Somebody's listed it as a cereal bowl, which I thought was hilarious. Cereal bowl? Cereal bowl, yeah. Uh, it's about two and a half inches deep. So maybe it was like a berry bowl or something like that. Sometimes you'd find a berry bowl and then you have a bunch of small ones that went with it. That could be it. So again, no chips or cracks here. I had that little tiny 
like rough spot that I think might be, might just have been a bubble. So, all right, well, think about that. Again, it's Cabbage Rose, Sharon. Pretty pattern, you can feel it on the outside and it's nice and smooth on the inside. All right, move it along. Oh yes, I have this, I have this puzzle. Um, this is a Whitman puzzle and it is Mickey Mouse Club from 1957. And it's gonna start at $10. It does have signs of wear, so it's not in pristine condition. However, considering it's from 1957, it was child's toy and it has all its pieces. I think that's pretty darn yeah. cool. cool. Yep. I love how creepy the clown is. I mean, he's, he's creepy, but sweet. I mean, he has a sweet face, I, but his feet are a little bit creepy. You know how he doesn't yeah, have shoes. That is kind of creepy. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of uh, boys could down that much cereal for sure. I yes. ate a lot of cereal back in the day too. Sometimes that's all you had when you were waiting for, when you came home from school, you know. So Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse Club. There's Susie. We remember Susie. And is that Ellen and Will? So I see that I have a chimpanzee with popcorn. I don't see a net. Oh, I thought you were in the house. You just scared me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I thought he, my husband was in the house and all of a sudden, because I heard noises and then I heard noises outside and all of a sudden, I can't see because it's, it's black outside. <coughs> There's no light out there. And all of a sudden he comes in. Oh, no. <coughs> I told you, too many crime shows I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, where is his big shoes aren't there, but his big feet are. His feet's hanging know. out. Kind of. Maybe it's hot, so he needed to, to cool off. So here down here it says copyright 1957. Oh, wow. Walt Disney Productions. Made in USA, Whitman Publishing Company. Bobby they did have a Bobby on Mickey Mouse Club. You mean that same Bobby was on the Lawrence Welk show? Maybe. This is Whitman right here. They still play the Lawrence Welk on uh, PBS. <laughs> oh, do they? Yeah. So it's a little more than 11 inches by 14. I couldn't find that piece of shoes. <laughs> So it's in nice shape. You'll see around a few of the pieces, there's a, like a little bit of wear as happens with these cardboard puzzles, but all the pieces are there and they fit in nicely. They're not loose. So here's what the back looks like. I think it had plastic over it and then double stick tape was um, holding in the pieces so they didn't get lost. So it was well taken care of. not bent and there's no bent pieces there's just a few little marks here and there on the pieces oh oh wow julie i didn't know that probably oh i mean all those kids were performers for sure we know what annette funicello went on to do oh right yeah famous so there weren't a lot of child stars. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's not true. There's Shirley Temple and stuff like that. A little bit of wear right there. You could probably touch that up with um, a little marker. All right. Well, I think you had a good look at this one. That was my second one for this round. Let me know if you change your mind about that, and I'll show it again. And we're going to go back to Kathy. Okay. Oh, yes. Bobby was on both. 
I didn't know that. Oh, I never could get into Laura. Sorry, if anybody's Laura's Wolf fans, but I could never get into that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it is still on. Sometimes my husband put, you know, it's on because something else is on before and then that comes on. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I think my parents watch it. My dad liked it. I don't know if my mother did, but I know my dad did. That could make all the difference right there if your parents watch it. Yeah, my dad did. Okay, this is going to start at $8. It's another one from Kiki's room. But this is one that I actually bought uh, for resale, and she decided she liked it. So I said, okay, well, you can have it. I'll put it in your room, but now I can sell it. <laughs> so, um, this, so this was something I gifted her. This is going to start at $8, and it's a little uh, boot, ceramic boot. It has a little transferware flowers. I thought it was really pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, it is made by uh, Athena, and it was made in the USA. Oh, nice. Never heard of them before, but very nice little ceramic boot, an old-fashioned boot. Uh, it is a planter. Let me see if I have this will fit in here. I've got a bow succulent. It might be too big. Oops. Let me see if it's going to be too big. We shall try. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit big for it. But a smaller one would look really cute in there. This one wasn't so big. Yeah, that's way too big. But um, you could put like a maybe some jewelry or a strand of pearls going down might look pretty. You could put something in there, some arrangement look nice oh your grandmother and your aunt <laughs> yeah oh you wash it for the oh yeah I remember the Lennon sisters <laughs> I like when Saturday Night Live <laughs> it is a spoof on them I don't know if you guys saw you guys probably saw it with um oh god Will Ferrell it was funny so let me get you a measurement but I just still, I can't believe that they still show it on PBS every week. Every week it's on. Um, six inches tall and about six inches across. I didn't realize they still showed it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I found my lady again, my, um, Mrs. Bouquet, the lady of the house, or not lady of the house, keeping up appearances. We have, sometimes we get the Tucson PBS channel. Channel says we don't always get it, but when it comes in, that's the cha the PBS channel that that's on here, the Tucson channel. For some reason, the Phoenix channel doesn't have it. I love, I don't know why, but I love that show so much. I still have been meaning to look that up. Mrs. Check it out. And she's just, you know, her nose is up in the air. She has one sister who's rich. She married a wealthy guy, but she has a hurt. She has issues with him. Oh, you watch that too, Dandy. And then she has um, her other sister, and her sister lives with her husband, and they're really, um, I don't know how I want to say it, they're very like um, below, low class. I guess you 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 could say they live in a dump, and they're, you know, he drinks beer and. He's got his belly hanging out of his t-shirt. You know, he wears a sleeveless t-shirt. You know, and and then their sister lives with him. Her other sister. <laughs> She's like, you know, she, they're all like in their probably 50s or 60s. She's all dressed up in like little hot pants and big hair. <laughs> yeah. It's just so funny. Oh, that's right. You're right. Hyacinth. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. Her sister's names. There's Hyacinth, Violet. Oh, what are the other sisters? I can't remember. I wonder if one was named Poppy. <laughs> is it? Tell me. I don't remember the other name. Oh, Rose. Yeah, Rose is, is she's a floozy one, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and Pop, Poppy? Is there a Poppy? I don't know. I was just guessing. Oh, and sometimes the father <laughs> is there, and the father is, oh, yeah, Rose. Right. That's right, Rose. Um, but the father is, is, is kind of nuts. Mm -hmm. It's just funny. It's just ah, funny. 
Uh, it was your pass on the shoe or the boot. Tamara said her mom and two aunts were on the Lawrence Welk show. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. She played the viola and one aunt. Oh, how cool is that? That's awesome. Oh, Daisy and Onslow. But what's the other sisters? Oh, Daisy. That's right. Daisy. Daisy, Rose, Hyacinth, and Violet. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's just so funny. It's so funny. It's just a funny, funny show. Okay, my next item. <laughs> no. Noelle said bucket, oh, yeah. aka bucket. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you never see the sun. You never ever see Sheridan, the sun. She talks over the phone, but, and he's got some kind of thing going on that she's, does. I mean, yeah, there's something with him that, um, oh, yeah, always, that always something going on. He always calls asking, needing money, and, and she loves Sheridan. Oh, Sheridan. <laughs> it's funny. It's a funny show. Okay, this is gonna. I'm, I dropped the price dramatically on this because I want things to move. And I try selling it many times, so we're just gonna throw eight dollars on this. But if you look up this brand, it sells for a lot of money. Yeah, she runs. <laughs> she runs funny too. Yep, it's hilarious. I watched it last night. She and she was running a lot, and oh my god, because her sister was running. Her sister has problems with her husband. Her, I think her husband is. Um, I think her husband might be gay and she doesn't know it. Um, and I think it's kind of like a cross dresser. You never see that. And you never, I don't think you ever even see the husband, but, but, um, so she has issues. The sister has problems with the, with the husband, but Mrs. Bouquet, her sister doesn't want her to leave him because he's got a lot of money. And she's say, Oh, you, but you can't leave, leave your, Mer you, you can't leave that Mercedes and all that, that beautiful house. And, uh, you know, I see, I see. Just, oh, a dragon. Yeah, it's really cool. And this, I don't know if it's supposed to be like dragon fruit. Oh. But this is a really expensive brand. And I'll show you what the brand is in a minute. But it's a really cool jar. It has a lot of dragons on it. Really, really cool. I'll take the top off. And um, this is the brand. It was made in Portugal. You guys can look it up. Vista Alegre, Portugal, Mata Heda. Nice. I think that's probably what it is. Mata Heda. I would have tripped over that. Yeah, her husband was um, gardening. He's retired. He's he's out there, you know, trimming the bushes. Richard, when you're out there. Look like you're enjoying it. Look like we don't look like somebody who um, can't afford a gardener. Look like somebody who can afford a gardener, but loves gardening and enjoys gardening. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. That's just so funny. That's silly. So look at how cool this, I mean, I'm gonna try to just take the lid off and show you how I drop it. But this dragon is just awesome. It's really cool. That is me. So no chips or cracks, really good condition. Nice little container with the lid. Oh yeah, Richard. And the way she really drives. <laughs> I have to, when I drive because I'm like Hyacinth. Oh really? Oh, the yeah, she's always like, you know, watch out for the 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 bicyclist, and the bicyclist is way far away. Aww. Dandy's yeah. gonna turn in. Thanks for coming to see us, Dandies. Oh, good night, Dandy. Have a nice evening. Nice to see you. So this is five by about four and a quarter inches. Yeah, watch the bike. Yeah, it's, it's funny. And oh, let me get you the height on this. It is about one and three quarter inches tall. Turn on the show. <laughs> yeah, so I don't see any interest in this, so we can go ahead and pass. Is it on PBS? Yeah, it's on PBS. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, and that was my All second. Right. Oh, you told me this came in. In. Okay, great. We'll go ahead and count it down. Tanya. Okay.
Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm glad. I'm glad it's going to a good home. Kind of reminds me of um, that Danube, the onion pattern. I, I know it's not because it's obviously um, a dragon, but kind of that color, the blue and white. And the oh yeah, thing on the top. oh yeah, yeah. Her neighbor, she has her neighbor come over um, for tea, and yeah. her neighbor is always really shaky and, and nervous because. Hi, and yeah, she, oh, that's my Royal Dalton, my best China, my best, you know, be very careful. And it makes the neighbor gets really nervous. Then she oh, oh my gosh. Tea and stuff. Patricia Rutledge, that sounds familiar. I probably have seen her before. It's fun. So thank you so much. Um, Yutanya. Yutanya. Thank you. Congratulations. I think I have your info, but I'm going to double check and make sure. Um, and I, I have it in case you do. Oh, okay. I think I do. Sure. All right. What do we want to do next? We had uh, somebody asked about bracelets earlier. So I, I guess I'll go ahead and show them. Um, $14. Buy it now. Oops. What happened? Choice. So I have several to choose from. Oh. Have okay. I far, I'm sorry. I hit enter too quick. Oh, that's okay. So, um, oh, so it's not offer, it's a buy it now. No. You buy it now, $14 choice. $14 choice. Yeah. Okay. So these are all eight millimeter bead bracelets that I made. They are on elastic cords. They fit an average size wrist, about um, seven and a half inches is the total circumference of the bracelet on the inside. Um, so I'll show you the different varieties I have. Somebody asked about Larimar. I have just the one Larimar. Let me turn the light off again. It's kind of blown out. So I have Larimar. So if you're interested in a particular stone, they are all natural stone, type in the, the name or something like it. So this is the Larimar. Still, it's not really showing that great, but um, here, this this one here, it's sort of like a light lavender color, but it's an aquamarine. This is the aquamarine bead. The green ones are, this is Peridot. This one here is green angelite. This is green angelite. It's a little darker in person than it is on the screen. It's a little washed out. This is the Larimar. This one here is called Mystic Titanium Green. Um, that word that I can never pronounce, cryophrase. You can look it up. I'm sure if you type in Mystic Titanium Green, you'll see what, what the word that starts with a CH is. I'm so sorry. I always forget to look that up. Look up the pronunciation. This one's blue jade. It's sort of a, a baby blue color. This one here is a black turlamine. Black turlamine. This one is a golden tiger eye. Right here. And this one is, and I did put tags on them, but they, the tags come off. Red fire agate. Red fire agate. Which one was the Laramar? I'll take it off so I can show you. This one here is the Laramar. Oh, okay. That is pretty. See, Midge is at 14. Okay, so, Midge, so buy it now, Midge. So just tell me which one you want. You get first, first, first choice. First choice. This is the Laramar. So just type in the name of the stone, Laramar, um, Peridot. This one's Peridot. This one is Green Angelite. So first one to type in which one it is, we'll get it. This one is uh, Aquamarine, I believe. That's Jade. Aquamarine. Okay, Blue Jade is off the table for Midge. And then so Darlene, I think, is next. Okay, thank you. This is the Mystic Green phrase it's sort of like a metallic mystic green mystic titanium green 
So, Darlene, you can let her know which one you'd like. All right. So I'm, I'm going to write these down. Midge gets the blue jade. And Tamara wants Peridot. And I bet Darlene wants the... She's the one that wants the Laramar. Because I think she was asking about Laramar. Let me know, Darlene. I'll put that aside for you. Just have the, the one. And they are eight millimeter beads. See the Laramar bracelet I'm wearing there? That's an eight millimeter. The other bracelet I'm wearing is... Um, six millimeter, just to, to show you by comparison, the size difference. Did our chat freeze up? Kind of looks that way. Hasn't moved for me since Tamara put in Peridot. Testing, testing, are we still there? Okay, Larimar and the black Turlamine, okay. We'll set that aside for you. Thank you, Darlene. You get the Laramar and the black Turlamine. So these are the ones I have left. I'm just gonna write this down and then we'll move on. Thank you so much, everybody. Patsy is asking for tiger eye. Did you have tiger eye? I do, Patsy. Thanks for coming in. This one is the tiger eye. This is golden tiger eye. So I can set that aside for you. Patsy, thank you. And I can add that to your box that I have not sent yet. So I'll just invoice this separately and, and toss it in. That's perfect. That's why on Friday I didn't put it in the mail because I thought, oh, we're close enough to Monday. I'll just wait. Tiger eye. Okay, I'm gonna guess that is it. Thank you so much, everybody, for like liking those. Yeah, those are nice. Taking a look. I'll keep making them as long as people like them. Petty Wainwright. Oh, I guess there's a show that that um, Mrs. Bouquet is in. The uh, the actress. Uh huh. Um, it's a detective series. We'll do some more jewelry. Um, we'll do an $8 start on this set, this necklace and brooch set. They are vintage. I haven't shown a lot of jewelry lately, except for my handmade. Um, I'm gonna try to get a few more pieces in the circulation. Cause um, I've, I've been shying away from it and I just, I need, I have some things that I need to move. So this is a vintage necklace. Sorry, I'm just removing a tag here. It's a vintage necklace. It is very long. <laughs> it is very, 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 very long. Even though it has a clasp, but it really doesn't need a clasp. It has a spring reading clasp here. It is super long. It's red, white, and blue, obviously, so I thought if anyone wanted to get ready for 4th of July. These are just a vintage plastic bead. See how long it is? It's like two yards long. Wow. At least. So you can easily double it up, wear it, decorate with it. Doubling it up gives it um, probably a, what do they call that, opera length. Mm -hmm. What are you starting that at? Oh, um, the set is $8. $8? Yeah. Sorry, I said it earlier, and we were probably still on that oh, show. Oh, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in nice condition. And like I said, it's just a vintage plastic. Very long. So you have that one. And then to go with it, it's also red, white, and blue, but it is a brooch. What makes it a set is that it has a, a brooch. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, good question. So I have this brooch. They are, um, yeah, isn't that cute? They are individually set stones of some kind. Uh, 
I don't know if they're real stones or plastic or what they are. They are in a nice setting. It's um, a gold tone. And I Beautiful. could not find a mark anywhere on it. But it's a nice shape. That's it has a, a rollover clasp. Yeah, That's it's nice. Goodness. Lou is in at eight. Very 1976. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Lou is at Thanks. Glad you like it. So they didn't come together. I just decided to sell them together. Thank you. Thanks, Lou. Again, really long, very vintage. Probably both of them are from the 70s. I'm not exactly 100%, but probably. Oh, thank you, Kay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we have Lou at 10. We can count down whenever you're ready. It does, even though it's not signed, it looks like it should be. It's a nice quality. So, I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Well, Very awesome. festive for the 4th of July. Yes. All right. That was my two. Thank you so much, everyone. We're going to switch back to Kathy. Okay. Let's start with the... Um, excuse me. I'm going to have to get some water pretty soon. Oh, sure. Sure. Not right now, though. This is going to start at $10. And this is a woven basket. It's really cool. It's lidded. It's lidded. Wow. It's a nice lid on it. Nice. Really, really nice. And it says, there's a tag at the bottom that says hand. Let me see what it says. I read it. Handcrafted in, I think it says Rwanda. Let's see if we, you can see it. I don't think you can. Oh. Are you able to read that? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it looks like Rwanda. Rwanda. And I'll get you a measurement. Tomorrow likes it. That was really cool. Oh. It measures at the top of the lid with a little knob. It's about 10 inches, 10 inches tall. And the diameter, oops, without the lid, it's eight and a half inches. And it's four inches in diameter. And I thought it was just beautiful. And it has these little tassels on the side. And I think it's made out of some kind of a straw, I think. Must be like a some some kind of straw. Really nice, very very colorful. And here's the lid. Very good condition. Really cool. Nice little basket. It is. You can fit all kinds of stuff in there. Looks like you might even be able to fit a, some kind of bottle in there. <laughs> but I'm not sure what size yeah. it is. It's really stash. Push. Your emergency okay. stash in it. Emergency stash. <laughs> Hide something in there. So. Yeah, your mad money. Put your mad money in there. Yes. So I think I don't see anybody else interested. So we can go ahead and count it down for tomorrow. All right. really sturdy too, nice and thick. So thank you, Tamara. Thank you so much. That is going to you. Um, <laughs> Congrats, she's excited. 
Oh, hi, Marianne. Hi, Marianne. Oh, don't worry. You're never late. Never too late. Or happy you're here. Okay. And the next item is going to start at $6. I have another Boyd item. It's not a bear. This time it's a lion. <laughs> a Boyd lion. Again, this was from Katie's room. But this is something wow. I had bought um, for resale, and then she decided she liked it. So she had it in her room for a while, but now she decided it's time to let it go. I was going to try to, to tie this bow better. Somehow the bow got um, untied. So hang on just a second. He has to have a proper bow. Let's see. I don't know if I can do it now. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's not going to work. Well, <clears throat> Oh, darn it. I thought I could do better. Than, okay, we might have to do your boat. We'll try one more time. Sorry about that, guys. Folks. Okay, I guess I'm not very good at bow, bow making. <laughs> a little, kind of a, yeah. know, I'd say it's kind of, it's got kind of long, long arms and legs. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like there's a piece of my hair on here. Put some thumbs on you. Where'd that come from? So he's got his, I think his arms are move. Oh, are they movable? Maybe they're not. Oh, they, they're not movable. Either are his legs. That's unusual for voids. It says big feet. But he is a lion. <laughs> he's got his little mane. He does have the voids um, tag. And his name is Lance. Oh, it's baby Boyd's. Boyd's. Oh. What does it say? Boyd's Beanie. Boyd's Bears and Friends. His name is Lance. Uh, 1998. And he also has his other little tag. It's, a little, it's usually on the tush, but it's not on the tush this time. It's on his leg. Oops. So yeah, here's Lance the lion. Uh oh, I got blurry. Lance the lion. Little boy's lion. It's cute. I haven't seen him before. I haven't either. Yeah. I've seen the bunnies. I've seen the cats. I've seen the bears. But I've never seen a lion. He's special. But he, but his arms and legs do not move. Okay, so maybe that's because he's the baby boys. Maybe they don't. Baby boys. Jointed. Let's see how if we can measure him properly. He's about well, if I can kind of stretch him out, he's almost ten inches. His name. He's kind of floppy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lot of character. Yeah. I don't think I see anybody interested in my little bait, my little lion. You may have to stay with me and be with my other little, my other little misfits. <laughs> okay, so we'll pass on him. That was my second. I think I'm going to put you right back here. We'll try and remember to show you on a, we will have a recap and we'll show you on a recap. I'm going to room over here. Yeah. All right, and that was my second. Was it? Mm -hmm. What was the first one? It was um, so fast. the basket that I sold. Oh, yeah, that went fast. Okay. After I check in for you, I'm going to run and get some water. Okay. Let's see. Let me decide personally here. Let's do this little chicken vase. It's going to be just six dollars because it has some condition issues. Is that an offer? Uh, yeah, starting. Okay, starting. That, yeah. Oops. So he looks like this. I love him. I love this little chicken, rooster, hen, whatever you want to call it. It's all like a woven kind of rattan with uh, some kind of glaze on it. It has a plastic, I do think it's vintage. It has this plastic vase in here so you could put flowers in it. But it does have some um, condition issues as you can see, some broken feathers. So 
So that's why I'm starting at just six. Got little legs there. The structure itself is is good, but you can see that it's been kind of kind of battered a little bit right there. This is all wood right here. Little googly eyes. They don't move like Google eyes, but they're they stick out googly. And back here again, some beat up feathers, unfortunately. I just thought I'd see if anyone's interested could forgive those little boo-boos. And here is the bottom. Made in the People's Republic of China. It's like a paper tag. It's about this big. I've been enjoying it on my windowsill. I think he's just darling. He or she. It just has that look. You like the eyes? <laughs> John doesn't want to see it go, I bet. Aww. It is pretty cute. So this big, again, it is a base. You could put like a dried flower arrangement in there if you want, but it will hold water. Nine inches tall. Yeah, and if you didn't have the little, <laughs> little um, issues, I would, I would definitely price it higher. Okay, he's okay with it going. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> it's an older plastic. I think this is probably from the 70s or 80s, but I'm not 100%. I just think it has that, that aged look and the sticker. Makes me think that. Oh, thanks, Kathy. You're linking, but I realize you're there already. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> That's okay. Thanks for thinking of it. I'll put yours in next round. That's cool. All right. If there's no interest. That's okay. I understand he's not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> I think it's Coolio. Oh, Christy likes Christy likes cool things like I do. She likes cute things. Christy. She likes, you know, kind of kitschy. Thank you, Christy. Chicken Run. Yeah, I remember that movie. Oh my gosh. I love the feet and the eyes. They're my favorite. So let's count down for Christy. Thank you so much, hon. I'll start a new box for you. You're going to a new home, little chicky. <coughs> Congratulations, Christy. Aww, I'm glad you will love him. <laughs> John, you don't have to look at him anymore. Don't be too sad, John. Yeah. <laughs> Christy. Okay. Put it in a safe spot so we don't bang up any more of those feathers. All right. Let's see. That was my first, I think. Let's do this. It's kind of in the same vein. Thank you, Becky. Becky posted my channel. Oh, thank you, Becky. That helps me out so much. Um, I showed these the other day. I had them separate. Now I'm going to bundle them together as a set, if you will. Uh, it's going to be a $8 start. It's the, um, again, you'll see what I mean by it's in the same vein. It's the woven palm fan and the shell trivet. <laughs> Stephanie. Yeah. So if you like that kind of oh, vibe, you got this shell trivet, which can be used just as decoration. Put it underneath a potted plant. It's kind of a cool look. Hey, Steph. 
had a dream as she was thrifting with Helen and Padoodles and got in a fight with the cashier. That would never happen. <laughs> I can't see you fighting with anybody ever. Yeah, it is very 70s tomorrow for sure. So I noticed that it, this is in really good shape, but it does have a couple possible like this shell probably had a, a point to it at one point in time. So it's not perfect, but it is woven tightly. It's not coming apart. Um, there's just a couple little, I don't even, it's really hard to see any actual problems with it. I think it looks pretty good. Cool. And then the fan looks to be in great condition. I don't see any issues with this. A lot of people, you know, had these up on their wall. Oh, yeah. day, but it works as a nice fan too. Yep. It really does. So $8 for the pair. Excuse me. Now I've made a lot of beaded things, but I've never made anything sure. like this. It just seems like it would take a while. It's like a lot of work. Bring it all together. Yeah. All right. So let's move on from that. If anyone wants another look, I'll show you. But I don't want to take up too much time. It's kind of self-explanatory. I just think it looked nice under a potted plant. I think we have something similar by our pool that my husband already picked up. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's cool. All right, let's switch back over to Kathy and see what she yeah, has already? for. Oh my gosh, that was quick. That was Yeah, really cool. that was a quick round. Okay, let's see. This is gonna be my highest dollar item tonight. It's gonna start at $40. If it doesn't sell, I'm probably going to list it because I don't want to go less. And it is the Fenton Fairy Lamp. It is pink. Ooh. I forgot what the pattern is. It does have um, dates on there. Colors. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the color. Everything about this. I'm going to show it to you separate because I don't want to drop it. But it has these like little beads going down. And it has like a, a very, a texture. I don't know what you call some kind of a texture on here. Very pretty. And it has like a, um, a little bit of an iridescence to it. I think you can see that. But it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's the top, and this is the bottom, and I love the bottom. Oh, yeah. Look at that, how pretty that is. Just gorgeous. I'm just going to make some tea. I'll be right back. Okay. That's the bottom. And I don't know what pattern it is. Um, Becky, I don't know if you know. I know you know a lot about glass. If you know what that pattern is called. I probably should have looked it up. Is it Daisy and Button? And I'll get you a measurement. Really, really pretty. So it is about six inches tall. And the diameter, like if I measure the bottom, is about four inches. But it is so, so pretty. Let me see if I can get my fairy light untangled here, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Lit up. Oops, I got like two fairy lamps. <laughs> two fairy lights that are inter intertwined here. Oh, my goodness. Da -da. Do you think it's da blah, Daisy and Button? Um... Oh my gosh, I might not be able to get this untangled. What a mess. Now, how did that happen? Hmm. I don't want to put them both in there because it'd be really bright. Let's see if we could just put light up one. Oh my gosh. This isn't going to do it. Nat, forget it. Sorry, folks. 
I can't show it to you because it's uh, it's quite the mess. But this is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So pretty if you, you know, collect fairy lights or fairy lamps or if you need your first fairy lamp. Is it beautiful, Dandy? I love it. So, so pretty. Oh, Darlene's in at 40. Thank you so much, Darlene. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Did you change your mind, Dandy, from going to bed? I don't know if you were going to bed. Oh, Dandy's in at 41. Thank you, Dandy. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful... Fenton, Darlene's at 42. I wish I had my um, fairy light untangled so you could see how pretty it is lit up. Oh, hi, Jason. How are you? Yeah, is it this? I think it's absolutely beautiful. Hey, Jason. Welcome. And I love that iridescence and the color. It's just gorgeous. Oh, oh, sorry. I yeah. misunderstood, Dandy. I misunderstood too. That's why I said yeah. goodnight, Dandy. Oh, well, I'm glad you you. I'm glad you're you sticking around. Um, I have my white paper so you could see it better. The color it is pink. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like that blush pink. It's beautiful. Yes, yeah, so so pretty. Forty five. Lady of the house. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, it is beautiful. So, oh, yeah. so pretty. <laughs> I hear that Helen's going to be on your show, Jason. Oh, cool. I think I heard her say that. I wasn't able to watch very long today because I had to leave. Which I, I love watching their Sunday show. Helen's um, show on Sunday, but I had to miss it today. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, where are we at? Um, Darlene's at 45. We're waiting to hear back from Sandy. You just have to let us know if you're in or out. Because she's thinking about it. Okay, she's out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so okay. much, Dandy. We can go ahead and count it down for Darlene. Count it down. Go on once. Mm -hmm. Twice and so to Darlene for 45. If you aren't subscribed to Dandy, please go subscribe to her channel. You will love her channel. And the same thing with um, Mother Tucker's Antiques. They have he has sales on I think on Mondays and Wednesdays. And who else? Um, Becky. Yep, they all have wonderful. Oh, you're going to be on her. Oh, okay. That'll be fun. Oh, so awesome. much Charlene. Yeah, I love that Sunday show. I, it's so early for me. It is kind of early for me too. Yeah. Watching, usually, I'm just getting up and getting my coffee. And I'm in my, my robe coffee. and coffee. Yeah, yeah that's the way I am. So, uh, on the Pacific, yeah. it's a little bit early to be be starting. Hi, Patrick, oh, it's called Daisy Beaded. Hi, Patrick. Daisy Beaded. Daisy Beaded. It's beautiful. Be Thank you so much, Charlene. I'm so glad that um, somebody's getting that. Yeah. And, um, was that? Yeah, writing, I said writing. Says, Fenton is a great way to keep up appearances. Oh, right. She's, not, right. she's on that running theme all night now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is bouquet. Okay, so now my other item is going to start at, I'm sure I wrote you down, uh, $18. And I have showed this before, but we're going to show it again. Um, I just have one. And this is, um, it's all brass. It's beautiful. And this is uh, a type of holder that you would use when you're out on the boat or on a ship or on your yacht. <laughs> um, so you put your candle in. I do have a candle. Let me get one for you. Good night, Angie. Oh, good night, Angie. I'll play a cotter before she left. I'll, I'll try to catch you tomorrow. Um, and um, 
But anyways, you would put a candle. Ooh, maybe I should tighten this. This can be tightened. I think. Maybe I shouldn't have showed this. So I wouldn't. This candle might be too heavy for it. Okay. You don't put a heavy candle in there. No lucite candles in this one. No lucite candles. I know I've showed this before with a candle. Hold on a second. Have Let's, you? I thought I have. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Now it's like, okay, Kathy. Okay, there we go. That The, the lucite candle was too heavy for it. Yeah. And you would put a can. That it is a candle holder. That's a neat candle. And it, and it is suede on the bottom. And this is so if you're in a ship, on a ship, like I said, or on your yacht, and you need candlelight, <laughs> um, this moves. If you have a yacht and you can't afford regular <laughs> lights, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but it's ambiance. When the ship moves, the candles mm -hmm. move in place. And you could also hang this. It has a little hanger, and you could hang it this way, and it would be a sconce. Thank you, Nightmare, for putting in links. I really appreciate <laughs> Yes, you can hang it on the wall. Uh, this was made by Baldwin, and it was forged in America. It has felt on the bottom. It's a pucometer. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Andy. <laughs> uh, I need to take something when I go on a boat. When I was young, I could go on boats. I lived in Florida. We used to go on the boat all the time. But as an adult, I cannot go on a boat without uh, taking something. Uh -huh. I, get, I get seasick. It's bad. <laughs> well, matter of fact, I didn't notice it until I went. Matter of fact, I was in Washington, and we were going to uh, Victoria on the Clipper. Oh, we on the ferry. It was on the Clipper, even. The Clipper, yeah. And, um, oh, my gosh. I got so sick. Oh, <laughs> the, 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 whole, the whole day was ruined. That's so, but anyways, um, yeah, so this is, if anybody's interested in this beautiful brass candle holder, yeah, the, you could use it like this, or you could hang it up. It could be a sconce either way. So it's pretty cool. But I don't think I see any interest on this, so we can go ahead and pass, and we'll show it on the recap. Gotta love brass. Yeah, I, lo I love brass. Me too. I have more than my share. This has a good weight to it. It's, it's really weighty. Okay, that's my second item. All right. That's okay. No harm. No yeah. harm at all. Thank you. We appreciate that, Nightmare. We do appreciate it, especially with just the two of us. And, yes. You know, just uh, finding things on the keyboard is, I'm a little slow. Okay, I have this collector plate. It's going to start at $10. Now, I know collector plates aren't for everyone, but I can guarantee you that this is a single owner. It was from my mom's collection, and it has no damage. It is so cute. It has a cute little girl, and she's picking some flowers or touching some flowers. I love the style of the painting that is depicted here. The little barn, the old barn in the background has a very vintage uh, look to it, as well as it actually being vintage. It's from 1988. And it is called Ribbons and Roses. Single issue by Donald Zolan, commemorating his first 10 years as a plate artist. Made during a 19-day firing schedule for the year of 1988. Pemberton and Oaks, made in USA. Oh, is that little me stuff? Oh, this is plate number 5541B. So, I don't know. I think mom ha didn't have this on the wall. I think she had it in a curio cabinet on a, like a little plate stand. So it was well protected for many, many years. And you can see it does not have any damage. No chips, cracks, or creasing. No scratches. Has some gilding around the edge here that matches the, the gold on the back. And it's just really cute. If you need a plate hanger, I can send a plate hanger with it. And you can hang it on the wall. <laughs> I had pretty light blonde hair when I was young. Oh, did you? I did. But we lived in Sacramento, which was very sunny. 
And so it was likely bleached out for quite a while. <laughs> Yeah, it probably did remind my mom of me. Yeah, or my cousin. My cousin had um, hair sort of like that too. She was just a little bit older than me. Really cute. I think mom was an artist. I think she just appreciated other paintings and art. So this, this depicting um, a painting from an artist that she probably admired is, is probably what was going on here. So what was the diameter? A little over eight inches. So that is available for just $10. And I'll throw in a plate hanger if I, if I have one, and I think I do. 1988, so I'll set that one aside. I don't know if any of our um, little golden book lovers are here tonight, but I bring some to every show, so I won't change that tonight. I'll do that as well. This is going to be um, an offer starting at 10, so we'll just leave that up. Oh, okay. Um, it's my little golden books. I do a lot of three usually. So this one is uh, one of my absolute favorites of all the little golden books called A Visit, Visit to the Children's Zoo. And let's see when it was. So it's copyright 1963, and it's the ninth printing, 1974. And it definitely has that look, that 60s, 70s look to it, the illustrations. Don't know if this one has been printed lately i think it's just um the older i've ever seen that one yeah exactly that's kind of what i i mean like you don't see it anymore it's in really good shape there's no writing no tears in the pages no folds in the pages just some vintage wear to the outside A little something right here, but not too bad. I think there's a little bit of a mark right here. I do want to point out everything I noticed. So there's that. So that's number one of three you'll get in this lot. This one is We Help Daddy. It's a little bit of a watermark right there. 39 cents was the original price. That's an older back. Mm -hmm. Very classic Eloise Wilkin illustrations. We love her illustrations. She did so many children's books illustrations. 1972, fourth printing. Copyrights, 1962. Kathy, did you ever get your queen headband? Not yet, but as soon as I get it, I will wear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a puppy rolling around. So this again has um, no writing or tears to any of the pages. Pages look to be in really good condition. And third one, this is one of my favorites too. Margaret Wise Brown, The Sleepy Book. It's a great book for reading to little ones at night. It belonged to Susanna at one period of time. I love that little sleepy kitty. So copyright 1948 is what this says. I'm gonna say this was reprinted in the 80s, but sometimes they don't say when it was printed. It just says copyright 1948, then it says copyright 1965 and 68. And then it doesn't have any further date, but it does have a barcode and it has kind of that oval shape. So I know that that's 80s usually. So all these books are vintage. <laughs> Darling. Okay. She says, what, what the heck, you deserve that headband. <laughs> oh my what color gosh. headband? Kathy's asking what color headband do you want? Color headband? I don't know. <laughs> 
What kind of headband does a queen wear? Oh, because I was saying, I mentioned that Jeannie calls me a queen. My, my granddaughter, she's yes, queen. <laughs> so, this actually has a, some music in it, a little, little lullaby music in it. You know, Margaret Wise Brown did Good Night Moon, as well as so many other famous children's books. Good Night Moon was popular when my kids were little. 25 yeah, years ago. Good. All right. Well, that's available. $10 for all three vintage Little Golden books. And we can pass on that and go back to Kathy. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're going to reshow something I showed last week and I reduced the price. Don't want these to go. These sell for a lot more online, just to let oh, you know. So. Oh, I oh. see Tamara. Okay. Great. I'll put you down for the little golden books tomorrow. Thank you. Me to count it down or not? That's good. We're, okay. We'll skip that. Okay. So tomorrow, congratulations. Thank you, tomorrow. Okay. These are tiki mugs, and this is choice. So it is going to be each. Um, but I did drop the price. They're going to be fifteen dollars each. So wait, starting at fifteen. Why can't I say this? Choice. Yeah, fifteen dollars choice. They're the same. They're both the same. Uh, these are tiki mugs. They were made in Japan. Uh, they are by Orchids of Hawaii. And they're very cool. Very uh, full mint. <laughs> they're really they have like creamy, buttery, yellow color. And the brown mustache and eyes. Look at the eyeliner. And his eyes. And it is marked on the bottom. It's a, it has a number. It says Japan. I think it says R82 Japan. And then around, which is really hard to see. Um, let me see if the other one might be a little bit clearer. And they're both the same. So I thought you might, somebody, I know some people collect tiki mugs and they might not want two the same. I don't know. Um, it does say Orchids of Hawaii around. It's really hard to see that. It does say that. Yeah, it's not coming in on the camera for some reason. But these are really nice. Okay, maybe oh, there we go. Let's take the focus for some reason. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are really cool. And did I say? Oh yeah, close to two. Um, yeah, they're really neat. So they're 15 each. If you, if you buy them both, maybe I'll give you a little bit of a discount. If you buy the pair. Okay, no. We'll see. But, okay. <laughs> maybe if you're nice. We'll see. I'll think about it. No. No. No, I will give you a discount. I just don't have much of a discount yet. But, um, but yeah. It's M size for what? What does that mean? Oh, I'm the queen. Size for coffee. It says M size for coffee. Oh, I don't know if you could use. I don't know if I would actually drink out of these. To tell you the truth, I mean, you could do what you want, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't. It doesn't set well. These were made in Japan. They're pretty old. I don't know. Um, I don't really know the date on these when they were made. Um, but you you could put your cold drinks in there. Yeah. Your mai tais. Coffee. <laughs> oh, iced coffee. Oh yeah, iced coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get a measurement for you. I'm gonna measure them for you. Um, so they are. About seven and a quarter inches tall. The top diameter is about two and a half inches. So I don't know how many ounces that they would hold. That's a good idea, Marianne. I like oh, that. Yeah, that is a great idea. Really cool. We have a tiki party. 
have everybody bring their own tiki mug. Let's see who has the most unusual one. <laughs> but I don't think I see any interest on my little guys. So we will pass on them. And my next item, these are kind of unusual. My husband picked these up. And I'll show them to you. They're kind of cool, but they're unusual. It was going to start at $6 for the pair. Now, I think they were supposed to be salt and pepper shakers, only they didn't put the all the way. So if you have a special tool, you could probably drill the holes if you want to use them as salt and pepper shakers. But we thought that was really strange that they're not drilled. Don't know who makes them. And I don't know if these stoppers, I know this one I think my husband added because he can't leave anything vacant. <laughs> He's got to fill all the holes. <laughs> um, but I, I forgot to ask him this one. I don't know if this one, I don't, I'm not sure if this one is, was in there when he bought it. Uh, it does say made in Taiwan. And I forgot to ask him if that was, um, it's a rubber stomper, stomper, rubber stopper. <laughs> And it says made in Taiwan, but I don't know. Like I said, I forgot to ask him if he, my husband collects everything. So I don't know if he got this out of his little toolbox, <laughs> but it says Taiwan. <clears throat> I just thought they were very unusual. Um, and I'm not sure if they're, they're um, nuns. He thought they were nuns and he knows I was collecting nuns. So that's why he picked them up. I'm not sure if they're nuns or if they're um, just or maybe Arab, Arabic, Arabic women. Um, you know, well, I guess they don't have to be Arabic. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know what that is. But um, mid, mid East from the mid Middle East. Oh. Do I say that right? Like from. I hope I'm not saying something that's not. I have no idea. Incorrect. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, maybe they're just women. Yeah, you know, back in the day where they wore, they dressed like that. Yeah, and just carrying a big pot of water or something yeah. around. Right. Yeah. The little urns of water. Arabian. Arabian, thank you. Arabian. I, oh okay. Gosh. I couldn't understand the word. I didn't sound right what I was saying. I know it didn't sound. Thank you. Thank you so much, Poppy. <laughs> Or Persian or something. Yeah, it could be Persian. It could be, they could be, um, yeah. yeah, the Muslim, they wore the, although their faces aren't covered though, so they may not be, but you know, they used to wear, they used to dress like that. Mary wore the dress like that, the Madonna. They had the, the head covering and the robes. Middle Easterners. They're definitely the different. I haven't seen those yeah. anything like them. And they are, I'm trying to think, I don't remember if they're black. They look, they look black in here, but it seems to me that they were dark, dark brown. Oh gosh, now I can't tell. They look black. Hold on, let me try my phone. Um, oops, I want to just do. I think they are actually black, but they're just very unusual, and we I can't find them online, so I don't know. I don't know much about these. You know, who made them, where they came from, why aren't the holes drilled all the way? Yeah, it's such a mystery. <laughs> they're very mysterious. For sure. And let me get you a measurement, and they're both a little bit different, which I like. I like that. They're not the same. Mm -hmm. Um, they are four, about four and a, about four and a half inches tall. But I don't see anybody interested in these. Unusual. Yeah, that is strange. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe they'll have to strain, They'll they'll have to stay in my strange collections. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, my husband saw these. He thought, oh, "You collect nuns." I'm not, I'm like, I'm not sure if they're nuns. Could be. But anyways. Oh, yeah. Okay. But we'll go ahead and pass. And that, was that my second? Yeah, that was my second. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's switcheroo. Let's 
Let's see. What I have. What do I have left? I think I have four things altogether left. What about you, Kathy? Um, two. I have two left. Which would be yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, let's do this little guy. He is a grumpy beanie starting at $6. He is from the Disney store. Mini beanbag grumpy. I'm I'm not sure how old he is. Um, I'm gonna say probably 25 years old or so, maybe 20, based on the tag that I recognized from when I bought a lot of things for my daughters at the Disney store. He's nice and clean. Of course, his name's hey, Grumpy Paul. from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Hi, Patty Paws. Nice to see you. So I just had this little guy. I thought I'd offer him here. I know we have some Disney fans. Nice fuzzy white beard. Mm -hmm. Grumpy's one of my favorite dwarves. And it does have the tag back here. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Made for the Walt Disney Company. He would be nice and light to ship. Mm -hmm. spend too much time on him but I wanted to give him a chance yeah grumpy's he's the lovable one he just doesn't show it right and Snow White brought out the sweetness in him I think yeah little brown pants on. I love the little little feet. Very true to the, the character from the movie. It says grumpy embroidered on the hat. Hi Val. Hey Val. How are you Val? All right. So let's pass on grumpy. Oh poor grumpy. Nobody wants you grumpy. Quit being so grumpy. <laughs> I have a little trinket box, a very sweet little heart-shaped trinket box. This is going to be $7 to start. I did show this before at a higher price, and I'm lowering it gradually. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. That is pretty. Of course, I love hearts. Nice domed lid here. Pastel colors. Beautiful condition. It has a, a little bit of a skip in the paint right there. I don't think that's damage. I think that's just a skip. I only see it if you're holding it up close to a camera. I think that's just where they stopped and started. On the back, it shows that it was made in Japan. And Antoinette is what they named it, the trademark. Yeah. 1984 Arnart Imports. And I like the little detail on the inside. There's a little um, a little flower. Pretty. Lots of great details on this one. All right, just a very nice awesome. little nice to put a little Mother's Day gift in that. That would be a nice yeah. Mother's Day gift. So there's no chips or cracks. Oh, no worries, Val. Oh, thanks for coming though, Val. We have one more round after this and then we'll do a recap and then we'll do our add-ons. I know how those tax things are. Oh, I finally got mine done, thank goodness. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
It is such a relief once you have it done. Oh my gosh, I feel free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every year I say I'm going to get this time. I'm going to get my act together beforehand, but will I? Probably not. <laughs> get it done early. <laughs> I mean, get you know, have my stuff organized instead of. No, I'm there like up until midnight, two days before I, you know, adding things up and trying to get everything on a spreadsheet and <laughs> before I go yeah. see my guy. Like, oh man. I know some people put like when they do sales, they put everything right away in a spreadsheet. I wish I could do that. Mm -hmm. I, don't. I do it after the show. Do you? I don't have a spreadsheet. I have somebody's gonna have to. Sh I need to see some how it's done. So I have no clue. Yeah. So it's a, a porcelain. It's a kind of a heavier porcelain too, it's thicker, which is probably why it's not been damaged. So because it is. 30 years old, right? Nice. It has that nice lip in there to keep it secure. It's not, yeah, true. It's like a really nice quality one, you could tell. Yeah. Okay. That was my second one. We're going to go to Kathy next. Oh, second already? That was. I did Grumpy and then the oh, Heart Tree. Right. Oh, my gosh. That's so fast. <laughs> All right. I showed this last week. I've gone down a little bit on the price, a little bit down. We want things to sell. <laughs> so this is a chopstick set. I'm going to start this off at $18. And it comes in this beautiful box. So I'll show you the box first. This is the first time I'm opening this. It's a nice little box. Nice if you want to gift it to somebody. But now let's see if I can get this box open. It's a little bit, a little bit hard to open. But it's a beautiful chopstick set. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's what kind of wood it is, but it's very nice wood. It could be teak, but I'm not sure. So this is what the little sauce dishes or Yeah, I think these are for sauce sauces. What they look like. Really, really pretty. There's four. So this is a set of four. Really pretty. And then you have the little chopstick holders. It has inlaid wood. Oops. Yeah. You set your little chopsticks on there. And then you have four sets of the actual chopsticks. And it has a little inlaid wood on the top. Yes, very, very beautiful. Just tie it in together, and this is to set your chopsticks on when you're not using it. Really nice little set, and yet you get a set of four. So, four chopsticks. Four little sauce dishes and four little um, popsicle holders. I don't know why I put all these the first set. This is my probably my third set that I found uh, for resale. And I was like, what are these things? What do you do with these? <laughs> and my sales said, yeah, those are for the holders to put your popsicle holders. Uh -huh. yeah, but it's just a really beautiful, beautiful set. Um, and again, you know, for your little sauces. It's fun to use chopsticks for eating sushi or noodles. I like it. I don't use chopsticks, so otherwise I could keep them. <laughs> yeah, I think that probably is teak. It sure looks like it to me. It looks like it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful gift set. It's a nice set. Definitely looks vintage. Yep. Okay, so that's my first item. You know... I looked at PayPal and it's the most annoying thing because they don't do a recap. So, so I thought, oh, I'll, I'll go to, to uh, PayPal to get what the fees are. There's no recap. You'd have to actually add all the fees. At least that's what I found out. 
if anybody knows differently, let me know. Mm. I got so frustrated with it because I thought, I thought, oh, I'll just go to PayPal and get, you know, all the, you know, do a re I thought, I thought like, like other banks do, they do a recap, like total withdrawal, total, you know, they bring it, you know, they do a recap of all the totals. Uh -huh. I didn't see that PayPal. And I was really frustrated with that. So anyway, uh -huh. um, my next item is going to start at $14. And this is for my own collection. I kept it while well, I saw this one. I put it on the show and then I take it down and I put it back. And, oh, do I want to sell it? <laughs> but anyways, um, I decided I'm going to sell it. Um, it's beautiful. It is a cat. That's why I had a hard time. No one. Um, it is some kind of iridescent glass. Hi, Kay. Good night. Hi, Thank you so much. You. Love you too. Good night. Yeah. Um, now this has some, I don't know if it had black paint on it at one time somewhere, because there's little, like in the crevices, it looks like black paint. And I don't know if it was to highlight, you know, like there's one little paint there. There is let's see if find some more. There's some back here. I tried to get it off and I couldn't. And like on the ears, there's a little bit of a little black. Hmm. So I don't know if there was more paint on there at one time. I don't know who makes this. I don't see any mark anywhere. And it's a very smooth bottom, oh. polished bottom. And I just thought it was beautiful. It has weight to it. And there's some little tiny bubbles, not a lot of bubbles, but there are some bubbles inside. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. Um, so I probably won't be able to see it. Oh, it used to be a bookkeeper for years. Get Square, Kathy, they're connected to QuickBooks and would. Really? Square? Square can take payments and stuff too, so you wouldn't even need PayPal. Really? Mm hmm But for we need PayPal. To, we wouldn't need PayPal. For invoicing, you Square can do invoicing. Oh, really? Mm hmm How come we don't use that? I don't know. <laughs> I thought Square was I looked in. I looked into it when people were having trouble with PayPal. Mm. I was being so goofy. But, yeah, Square is the same payment thing like point of sale, they do point of sale and they do invoicing. Oh, wow. And yeah, you connect it to your bank, just like PayPal. Oh, but they are also connected to QuickBooks. So you have that accounting oh, software as well. Wow. PayPal doesn't have that. Do you, you, have, have, do you, have you used them before or not? I signed up for it, but I haven't used it yet. Haven't used it? Oh, okay. I haven't made the switch. Not, I was saying, can I handle you? learning something else again yeah exactly that's where i am <laughs> if i were if i did a bigger business you know then i would oh I would. okay yeah. it seems to me many years ago i signed up for square because i thought because i was sell, I, I used to go to like art shows and sell my photography and stuff i thought maybe i'll use it there i never did use it but i did sign up for it but i never had used it yeah. Let me get you a measurement on this cat. This cat has some good weight to it. Penny Sue's friend Meg used it. Hmm. I don't know. It's six and a quarter inches tall. It's a beautiful, oh, beautiful yeah. mm -hmm. Gorgeous. It would look pretty on a light box. Yeah, it would. In a window. I don't see any interest in this, so we can go ahead and pass on that. That was my last item. All right. I have, two more. I have two more, and then we'll do a recap, and then our add-ons. Okay. So I have this sign back here. Let's see if I can grab it very gracefully. It's going to start at $14. I did look this up, and I did compare compare with what's out there. It does have this one flaw right here and I will show that right away. This little fold right here or the this little bend in the wing. 
I like her. Otherwise, it's in great condition. There are no other issues. And it's very inspiring. It says, be brave, trust the voyage, believe in possibility, practice courage. And every day, embrace your vulnerabilities, have faith in your dreams, choose joy, and live your truth. It is by Kelly Ray Roberts, and you can look her up. She has other beautiful pieces out there. It is a more modern piece. It's 2014. Kelly Ray Roberts for Dem Daco. Daco, Daco. Author and artist Kelly Ray Roberts started her career as a social worker, but later decided to follow her heart's passion to become an artist. So it's on sort of a, um, some kind of wood. And she has a really beautiful face. If you She's look up the beautiful. artist, you'll see other um, similar pieces. I love those colors too, that green with a pink and so Yeah, beautiful. yeah. And her pieces do sell really well. I don't know where they originally came from. Courage right here is what that says. Darlene's in at 14. So these are like a metal. Oh, thanks, Darlene. These are metal. The wings are metal. Yeah. And again, it's um, it was bent right there. So that's the only issue. I think it's forgivable, honestly. I would if if it weren't for that, I would be asking more because they do go for more out there in the wild. Mm -hmm. You can see how there's some uh, this is applied right here. And she just has a gorgeous face. It does have an organza ribbon attached. I did knot it to make it just hang a little bit shorter. You can take that off, hang it on a doorknob. I, I like it on, on the wall. Yeah, folk art vibe. Yeah. I'm not sure where these were found are found out in the wild or, or I guess I should say originally um, probably a higher end gift shop is what I would expect from from this what I see here so it's sizable pretty tall Let's see how tall a little more than 14 inches maybe 15 inches tall And again, I put that knot in there, a the little slip knot. You could take that out if you wanted to. I just wanted to hang it and, and have it be a little shorter so that I didn't see the, the ribbon back here. But that's the way it came. And we can start thinking about counting it down. I don't see any other interest. Right. Okay, you. congratulations, Darlene. Congratulations. Oh, she's really nice. I, didn't like her. I was debating. I wasn't sure I wanted to let her go yet. <laughs> but I did. I did it. All right. Well, let's see. What is the last? Oh, I have some beanies to show you. It's going to be choice starting at $4. I don't know if anyone's here for the plush, but I have these to choose from. They're all sort of that light tie-dye. Um, Did you say $4? $4, yeah, choice. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Darlene. Thank you. So I have the little seahorse. I love this. It's so cute. It is cute. So it's got pinks, yellows, greens, blues, just sort of that muted tie-dye look. This one is named Neon. Does They all have their tags. Neon, and it is from 1999. April 1st, 1999, just had a birthday. So that is one choice. 
Other choices are this little jellyfish, same fabric type. Gucci is his name, G-O-O-C-H-Y. And also has a tag here. And it says November 18th. 98. Swirl, squish, squirm, and wiggle. Listen closely, hear him giggle. The most ticklish jellyfish you'll ever meet, even though he has no feet. <laughs> little embroidered eyes. And then this cute little snail. So I put these choices together based on their uh, colors here. It's a little swirly action with the yellow, blue, pink. Hmm. And a little fun for springtime color. Swirly, March 10th, 99. I love it. I love the, the little snail. How often do you see a little snail like that? So those are the choices if you're interested. Those are cute. Thank you. They're fun. I know a lot of people had beanies and don't have them anymore and we're over them, but they're vintage. <laughs> they're vintage now. Yeah, they are. And I have them. <laughs> All right. That's it for me. You want to do a recap, Kathy? How do you feel? Sure. Okay. There's a few, a few items I'll show from the. Okay. Yeah. You took the 1099 last. You know what? They wouldn't. I would. I couldn't. Didn't get a 1099 for it. I couldn't find a 1099 either. And they said that um, that $600 thing was um, extended. Extended. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So apparently, I didn't make enough. They keep extending it. <laughs> so I don't know. So I didn't make enough for the 1099. So yeah, I didn't get one. Right. So me either. Yeah. So, but I just know that I had to go in and I was adding the fees. And then finally I thought, you know what? I'm just going to average it out. I did like three months and then I averaged it. For the invoicing fees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because like I said, I'm not going to add every single one. Why don't they just put a recap at the bottom? Why not? Yeah. You know? For the end of the year. That'd be nice. Trading. So, because I did, I downloaded the, the statements, but they didn't. They weren't um, no recap. It just gives you a whole list of, you know, what what it was, what, what you got in, what the fees were, and yeah, it was just frustrating. Um, I thought, you know, I'll just average it. <laughs> uh, yeah. watch, me, watch me get audited. Get audited. <laughs> and I doubt it. I doubt it too. Highly doubt it. But they say they audit the little the little people, the ones that get audited the most. <laughs> Okay, um, so recap. These are going to be straight prices now. So I have the little boy's lion, and he is six dollars. His name is Lance. Lance the lion. He is uh, number fifty-one. Six dollars fifty-one. And then um, I just showed the tiki mugs, but they're available still. I have two of them made in Japan. Uh, orchids of Hawaii. There's two, and it's choice for, um, where are you? $15. $15 each choice. And it's going to be number 53. And then I have the little boot. And this is uh, $8, number 54, made in the USA says there somewhere oh there we go it's upside down um athena made in usa nice little ceramic boot planter or vase eight dollars number 54 and then i have the ship candle holder brass 18 dollars number 57 you could use it this way or you could use it as a stance. It was Forge in America. And it has some good weight to it. It's all brass. 
And I think that is it because the rest of it, I just showed it. The nuns and, and the chopsticks. So that's it. Oh, and the, yeah, you saw the cat and the, yeah, we just showed that. So um, now we'll do the add-ons. Do you want me to do the add-ons now, or do you want to um, do your recap first? Don't talk about on YouTube and trigger their... <gasps> what? You can go ahead. Go ahead. I don't... Oh, talk about it on YouTube. Okay, I was thought you meant talk about YouTube. I was like, we're not talking about YouTube. Yeah, I hope not, Steph. Yeah, I hope not, too. Okay, let's see for my add-ons. I have... Okay. So if, in case somebody doesn't know what add-ons are, if you've purchased something or have an open box and have not yet been invoiced by Kathy, you can pick up th these add-ons. We'll give you a key, word, number, or letter. Type that in the chat. If there's more than one person interested, then we'll do a drawing for that item. They're usually low dollar, dollar items between zero and five dollars that you can add to your box. Yes, okay. Uh, I hope I didn't write any of these down. But that's okay. We'll take it slow. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I have a little Boyd's bear. He's so cute. I think it's a Boyd's bear. Maybe it's not a Boyd's bear. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it is Boyd's bear. He's from 1990-94. It says wool, wool blend. He has a little, um, a little sweater on. He's cute. He's going to be $4.00. And he's B for Boyd or B for Bear. I had to write this down real quick. Add on $4. So if you're interested, if you've made a purchase with me, like Leanne said, or if you have an open box with me, but I have not invoiced you yet, B for Bear, and it's $4 for him. And then... What else do I have? Oh, um, looks like Noelle's interested. Oh, thank you, Noelle. Um, I'm trying to think. I want. I guess I'll add this guy. He may be worth something. I don't know. I read what it says. Let's do three dollars on this guy. He has some weight to him. It's a little horse. It's uh, like a hard, thick rubber, but it's weighty. It's very weighty. I think it was made in Hong Kong. And it's Imperial something. It has a marking on the bottom. Like I said, he might be worth something. I don't know. But he's going to be $3 and it's H for horse. This thing isn't focusing too good tonight. I don't know why. Why aren't you? There we go. Oh, 1975. 75. Imperial toy. Nice. So it's H for horse. I see Christy. Christy. And I'm going to call it for Christy. Okay, and then, uh, then I just have two little freebies. Um, let me write this down. These are like if you like crafting. Um, so this one's going to be called. We'll do. Okay, these are like little brads and stuff. Like I said, if you do uh, crafting, um, there's, there are little brads, I guess. Oh, yeah. That you can put on your like scrapbook or whatever, designer brads. So this one is going to be B as in boy. I already did a B, didn't I? Oh, well, we'll do another B. Well, yeah, we'll do another B because one of the other Bs. Sorry about that. Oh, B, I did, I did it. B for Brad. B for Brad. If you're interested in this one. 
So it's cute for um, if you're into crafts. And then I have another one that's also very similar. Only this one is Farm Girl, it's called. And it also has the little brads in it. And again, it's zero dollars. And these, look at how cute these are. Oh, they're really cute. So this is F as in Farm Girl, if anybody's interested in these. And I'm sorry, folks, but that's all I got. <laughs> I'm, I have to really, I have to start. Um, oh, you want B? Noelle, okay, I got you for that. I need to start going through all my things. And F, I see you for both. Thank you so much. Um, I have to start going through more of my smalls. To uh -huh. I, I was gone all day today. No, that's my excuse. That's my excuse. I was gone all day today. <laughs> Babysitting all week. I have a chance. <laughs> but I'll do better. I'll do better next week. I promise. And that's all my items. All right. All right. Let's switch it over. Thank you. All right. So I have a doll. This is my recap. I have a, a porcelain doll in the box. She has pretty blue eyes. She's $12, number one. It's $12, number one. You're so sweet. This is what her box looks like. I wrote down 1988. I don't know why. I decided to write that down. Pink dress, blue eyes. <clears throat> I used to collect dolls, so maybe I was trying to keep track of when That's I got them. That's a bad idea, though, to write down the date, you know. I guess so. Jan, um, I'm so proud of you. You stuck with us all night. Of course, yeah, Jan. We're done early, too. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be done early tonight. This is a cute little plate. It's also from 1988. It's $10. It is a numbered plate called Ribbons and Roses by a um, artist named Donald Zoland. Oh, good night, Pam. Good night, Pam. Thank you for coming. Really appreciate it. So this is $10 number two. It uh, has no flaws whatsoever. Um, the Starbucks tin is this does have some flaws. It has some scratches here and there, but uh, I think it's a really cool design. It's meant to be like a little delivery truck. It doesn't have a year on it, and it was hard to find any information or any others for sale out there. You can see a few little scratches here. It is made in England, designed and manufactured in England for Starbucks. At a silver cream company and this i had priced at 12 dollars because again hard to find um and it's number three i wonder number if it came with something originally. If they had cookies or something in there originally i wonder yeah it could be i was guessing that it would come sure. with coffee in it but i or maybe you know. maybe who knows? It doesn't say. And I couldn't, like I said, yeah. didn't find the information online. I have the little golden books for $10. If anyone wants to see those, I can I can show you that. Um, what else do I want to show you? I have the Cabbage Rose Depression Glass Bowl. It's called Cabbage Rose Sharon Pattern. It is light honey colored or yellow. I didn't find any flaws or, I mean, damage, but I thought maybe there was a small little flaw right here. Maybe it was a bubble because it just has a little thing that you can feel with your fingernail. Right here, actually. So it's not a chip or a crack. Anyway, it's $8. And it's number 11. Depression glass, and you can feel the pattern back here. I saw a popcorn bowl. Oh, that would be. That would be. Or somebody had said cereal bowl. Yeah, yeah. That, if you're feeling fancy, put your popcorn in there. <laughs> right. Uh, the Mickey Mouse puzzle from 1957. It's a Whitman puzzle. Like a cardboard, thick cardboard puzzle. Mickey Mouse Club. It's in nice condition for its age. 
but it does have some signs of wear. There's no bent pieces or missing pieces. And so this one is $10, number 15. And that is my recap. And I will do my add-ons. So if you have a box with me, even if you paid your invoice already, there's a few of you out there that paid, but I haven't shipped it yet. I'm planning to do that tomorrow. Um, I can throw these in. So this is, this is a fun little porcelain piece. It's like a hand. Oh, yeah. Um, probably a ring holder, but it, I thought it was kind of unique. I haven't seen this one before. It has no marking. It's glazed ceramic. It does have like a little extra ceramic piece right here. So if you want this uh, for $3, type in H for hand. And it's white. It's like a bright white. I have a cross pendant with what looks like rhinestones or crystals. Tomorrow, H. Tomorrow, thank you. This is a quite substantial cross pendant. Has all of the crystals or rhinestones in it, very sparkly, has a gold tone base with some, I would say, um, not really discoloration, but some patina, let's call it. And it does have a bale. You can hang it, craft with it, whatever you'd like. This one is also $3 and C for cross. If you're interested in this one, look how it sparkles. It's, it's large. It's like four, four inches. C for cross, $3. And I have a tiny cup and saucer. Oh, I see Christy for C. Christy. Great. Have you down, Christy. Thank you. This tiny cup and saucer is really cute. Mm. There's transfer on both sides of the cup. Has a nice little scalloped edge. It's really, really sweet. And this is also $3. Let's do S for saucer. It's not marked. S for saucer. No chips, cracks, or crazing. It's a cute, cute little mini be child size. I don't know. Love the shape of the handle. $3 S for saucer. And oh, I wrote that one down twice. Look at me. I wrote that twice. Okay. This, I have a handkerchief hanky for $2. It's kind of unique. It has this little embroidered um, scene with two girls and one's jumping on the teeter-totter or seesaw. I just thought that was different. So there's the back. It's nicely finished. So I don't know if it's professionally done or if it was a hobbyist that did it. I did wash it. It's a little stiff, um, but it needs ironing. So that is Let's do E for embroidery, if you are interested in the hanky. It's nicely done. I don't see where the, the thread starts and stops. It's so crazy. Okay, Jan, thank you. Oh, good night, Jan. <laughs> so you stayed almost to the end. Yeah. Okay, Christy, I see you. Thank you so much. And the then up in the air. She's got her up in, going up in the air. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that different? I thought yeah. it was so unique. It's really cute. And there's no stains or tears on it. It's in nice shape. So all right. Last but not least, I have two items that are zero dollars. So I have this bracelet. It is a stretch bracelet. I did not make it. It has pink and 
black beads that are, I think, uh, plastic pearls. And it's a, a larger size, I'd say, it, you know, it's not, it's not snug. So let's do B for bracelet if you want this. Has some little rhinestones, gold tone. B for bracelet. And then I have a vintage graduated bead necklace. It's 18 inches long, total length. And it has, well, it has a lobster claw. So it makes me think that it's not vintage, but I think maybe the lobster claw was a replacement mm. because it sure looks vintage elsewhere. Like this looks vintage and the beads too. Anyway, I'm not selling it. I'm giving it away. So why do I care? <laughs> and, and for necklace, I just want to tell you all the things, you know, mm -hmm. and for necklace, it'd be cute on a, like a mannequin or dressing up or for, you know, like a, in a vintage outfit. So if you want that, that's what I got for you tonight. Oh, good night, Tamara. Thank you Tamara, so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. I, see I, will, cool. I will invoice tomorrow for most of you. If you don't hear from me and you're anxious to hear from me, please do let me know. Will you see uh, Christy? Christy for N. Thank you, Christy. Mm -hmm. I'll put you down for the necklace. Thank you so much. And yes, sweet dreams tomorrow. Thank you. And um, yeah, if, you know, I'm not doing a lot of sales right now. So, you know, if you only bought a few things and you want to wait and have an open box, that's fine too. If you get an invoice from me and you want to wait, just let me know. Don't pay it yet because I'll hold it for you and then we'll pay it all at once. Um, um, yeah, I'm going to wait until after Thursday sale. Okay. Uh, except for the people who said, I think one person said they want to be invoiced right away. Otherwise, I'll wait till after Thursday. Because we're going to have a, a sale Thursday. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully, Sabrina's better and she can join us. But the three of us, we're going to have a sale Thursday at 3.30 Eastern on my channel. And it's yeah. going to be handbags and accessories. So there'd be, there could be scarves, purses. I'm going to have some t-shirts. Um jewelry what else um <laughs> we'll see you have to come and see come and find out that's right <laughs> i put kathy's uh channel link in the oh, chat you. so please check it out um tomorrow i'm gonna be on monday market on angie's oddities and it slips my mind what time that is but if you go to angie's oddities you'll you'll see her thumbnail it's um it's like early afternoon for me. I can't remember exactly. Let's see if I can find it. What I am remembering though is on Wednesday, um, Julie Day Trip Vintage Co. and I are having a craft with me live tutorial series that starts on Wednesday. Wednesday at eleven p.m. or eleven a.m. Pacific, two p.m. Eastern, and this is the link. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy Wiseman put it five, already so fast. I, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, I know. So that's that's to my time. See, the problem is I think of my time and then I can't remember what the Eastern time is for the start of the show. Did she put in the link? Oh, I can put the link in. I got the link. Oh, thank you. Yeah, put the link in if you would. So I put the link into um, the show that's going to be on Julie's channel on Wednesday. So if you're crafty, you just want to hang out and look and see what we're doing. If you want to chat, come by and see us. And yeah. I just put the link in for um, Monday's show. Monday's show on Angie's Oddities. Thank you. Oh, good night, Bonnie. Thank good you, night, Bonnie. Bonnie. Nice to see you. Thank you. You too. Yeah, so we hope to have Sabrina back. Um, I think, did we decide my channel for next week? Again? Yes. Oh, okay. did we? Which I don't know. It would be normally. I just didn't oh, know. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's today. Yeah, that'd okay. be good. Okay. Yeah. You know, unless you and Sabrina. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. 
Thanks everybody for coming. If you have any questions, email us, put a comment in the chat. And we'll see you around the chat. So we'll see you. I'm sure we'll see you tomorrow and hopefully you come and see us Thursday and uh, yeah. Yeah. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks, Nightmar. Thanks everybody. everybody. Good, night. good night, Nightmar. Good night, Becky. Bye, Becky. Kathy, everybody. <laughs> good night. Good night. Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. <laughs>